going live going <laughs> live yeah i think i said it a little bit prematurely all right hello everyone welcome to the honored ones podcast episode 47 now three episodes away from episode 50 and yeah dark claw hell has not frozen over i am here and and so is he so is broken ronin yeah, I'm, I'm here as well uh you know pretty impressive pretty impressive um what's up guys what's up what's up what's up how are y'all doing on this uh this fine monday afternoon uh br you want to tell them why you're here <laughs> um uh why i'm here uh because i'm a co-host is oh, that not the right answer? You mean because oh, creams oh, oh, up? Why, oh, 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 yeah, yeah, that is why I'm here. Yeah. yeah chat, like, let's give him a round of applause. Thank you, Creams thank you. did what we all deemed to be impossible. I, he, he uploaded when he said he They would. said it couldn't um, be done, dude. They insisted. Yeah. They, they let me know that they thought it couldn't be done. <laughs> well, hold on, listen. I don't know if you saw on the Discord, but uh, I was supportive of you. I said I believed in you. When, it, when, when the chips were down, I was there. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh -huh. yeah, uh, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll pull up the screenshots too, buddy. You know I was there. You 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 know you know others were doubting you, and I said no. He said he'll upload and he'll upload. He, Listen, yeah. I may have doubted you the day before, and the day before that, <laughs> the week before that. But when when the world needed it most, I showed up and uh -huh. let you show up as well. You know, B Br Br, I, I can't even. I, I, I there's no there's no sarcastic way to say it. B B Br is a, a a switch up aside. Mm -hmm. Uh. I have indeed uploaded a video. The rumors are true. There is a new video on the Old Creams channel that mm. exists recently, came into being. Um, not quite as recently as BR's UG video <laughs> that not only was, was, was a passing glimmer in his eye when I uploaded mine, but turned out to just be actualized in between the time of me uploading and uh, yesterday. And mm. uh, you, you want to tell him the big news that, that you got before, right before we started streaming? Uh, big big news. Creams will be doing the same thing. Uh, Br got a hundred k on his on his, oh, on his video. Yeah, yeah a round uh, of applause. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I got a hundred k on that video. So thank you guys for all your support. And I want to give a special shout out to XTI Seven. Um, just real quick because uh, he did give me a super thanks on that video. And not only would I just appreciate that in general, um, but that was also the first time that's ever happened. So I I I didn't really. Uh, know how to go about that? I think it was yeah, XCI seven, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're kind of you're go you're goaded for that, man. I really appreciate that, and that was a that was a really cool gesture of you. So thank you for the five there. I just wanted to give you like a little, you know, I respond to the comment and everything, but I felt like it would it'd be a little bit nicer to mention it on stream here. So thank you for that. W, you'll have to see it. Uh, this week, you know, great chapter dropped. Uh, not just of Jujutsu Kaisen, which I am very glad I can say. Um, yeah. Uh, well, hold on. What you talking about? I'm talking about my hero, dude. Oh, my hero. We're already gonna disagree. Huh? No, <laughs> dude, Horikoshi cooked the last four pages. Listen, listen, bro. First of all, whoa, whoa, the DJ. Thank you for the twenty. What do Gojo, Maharaga, Angel, and Yuji have in common? Damn. Damn. They all fought Sukuna. Yeah, I, I, was I gonna, guess that. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say that they they all like got defeated by Sukuna, but Gojo's there, and that's impossible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, not all got defeated. They definitely all fought. Um, they definitely all fought. Uh, so I will say that. I will say that. Um, yeah, I guess that's an interesting. I feel like I feel like I'm being played into something very obvious. Um, but you know, I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna let you cook if there's a punchline to that. But I feel like it's all fighting Sukuna. Um, they all damaged him. Oh, you spitting? You know, oh, you, I mean, Sukuna, yeah. Sukuna was a through line, but damaging him, yeah, you spitting, you spitting. Yeah, you spitting. okay, I, I would never have guessed that. Yeah. <laughs> They all punched him in his. <laughs> That's Dude. a funny way to put that. Um, but yeah, you know, I'm gonna start off with my hero. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something a little radical, right? Oh my God, we're 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 jumping past Black I, Clover in spite of its chapter. I also with sub Johnny and uh, the DJ. DJ. Oh, thank you for the, Dude, the thank 20. you again. <laughs> They're the only ones to put hands on Sukuna, and Spit, you're right. Yeah. Uh, thank you for the the other half of that riddle. I appreciate it. Uh, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yeah, dude. I mean, once you know uh, Hakari comes and kills Sukuna, it's gonna be like another name to that list but yeah, yeah let's you're, go you're insane i hope hikari gets one shot now because of you dude watch kashima and him they're gonna power a french gonna... listen i'm gonna say this if kashima's involved i'll allow hikari to cook wow also caliber x4 thank you thank you for the 10 dokiyami really said you think, think the darkness, darkness is your, your ally? ally let's fucking listen, go let, we'll, you we'll get talk, it we'll talk you about know it. it we'll talk about it we'll talk about it because 
I will say, we'll talk about it. I think that was a great moment, but this chapter overall was not a cook. That's, Listen, that's bro, what I'll say. Half this, look, first half of this chapter, five out of 10. Fine, passable business, right? Last half, solid nine, 10 out of 10 material, dude. Art wise, like punch wise, uh, character wise, all for one quaking in his boots over Sukiyumi's uh, uh, fucking uh, quirk. Yeah, that was hard. Yeah, yeah. That was hard. Where he was like, well, what's this? An ability I have to be wary of? That's your main mm -hmm. antagonist? Dog. Come on. That's like... That's like the goat Aizen trembling before uh, Hitsugaya. Like, like that's a crazy feat. Do you want to get into a Toshiro debate again? Or do you want to retract that statement and maybe just move on? Do you want to get days? into a Toshiro debate with Aizen in the mix, bro? Like, do you, is that what you yeah. want for him? I, listen, listen. I don't think you understand agendas. I will genuinely argue that Toshiro bodies Aizen if I have to. Alrighty. Don't do I will that. do what do, needs to be done. Don't do that to yourself. You're better well, than that. Listen, listen. I, I'm willing to put everything on the line, all right? You don't understand the power of an agenda, regardless of logic. Anyways, um, I, I mean, I kind of agree. Like, I think I think Tokiyami was clearly the highlight. Any Anybody that had Tokiyami stocks, um, like, y'all, I mean, y'all y'all won. Because um, when bro was like, you don't get to speak of the dark, I was like, Yo. what the hell? What the hell? <laughs> Come on, picking? that was hard. Okay, uh, no. so are you willing to agree with like the half, like half mid, half great uh, a take? Because uh, it's yeah, uh, I I I think so, but I just don't think that to me that doesn't like that doesn't get me a. It gives me a solid seven and a half. Cause like, dude, it was just so raw, dude. Like, come on, come on, the uh, dark it's... shadow taking up the entire page, looking at. Like uh, I said, come on. Like I said, like, listen, you're not going to hear any argument from me from Tokiyami absolutely cooking and making all for one look like a bum, right? But I don't think that fact changes the fact that I also genuinely dislike the first half of the chapter and think it's, like, just mediocre, right? I mean, it was nice um, seeing the, uh, what was it, Shuke Shuketsu? How do you say the name of this? Uh, Shuketsu, hi. Yeah, Shuketsu, um, hi. I, it was nice seeing the them. thing is, The thing is, I just, I mean, like, Listen, I'm not mad if you're if you like it. Don't get me wrong. I just don't care about any of these bombs. Like, I mean, they're I fine. Just, like, I, it was pleasant seeing them. Uh, not in the same way it was pleasant seeing Gentle. By the way, the goat, love Gentle. Mm -hmm. Um, but Gen like that's what I say. Like Nagant and Gentle coming back. Now that was a crazy callback. That was like, yeah. oh, I'm I I'm gassed that you guys showed back up in the manga. These guys, I'm like, oh, you're here. Okay. I mean, I'm happy Hello. that they're here in in so far as like. Okay, whew, th thank God Horikoshi didn't forget about him. Because, like, <laughs> yeah. that was the only thing I was thinking about. I was like, damn, don't they have, like, a whole other school of, like, people to help? Because it just seems mm. like UA is doing a lot of the heavy lifting. But no, yeah, no, it, it was nice seeing them again. Uh, and I was not expecting this. Like, I, I was pleasantly surprised. I didn't think uh, 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 I had his name. Tokiyama would be uh, the trump card for... for yeah. I, I Unexpected, appreciated welcomed yeah do y'all really think tokiyami is gonna do anything to all for one yeah. i mean all for one i'm pretty sure all for one in his own head said like this sensation an attack i needed to dodge, dodge at all costs yeah like bro himself is just saying i'm about to get cooked <laughs> like i'm not saying he, i'm not saying tokiyami has defeated all for one but uh i think i think like everything that horikoshi has written in this like in this interaction has implied that tokiyami has is going to be a significant factor in keeping all for one away from shigaraki and probably damaging him and generally in keeping like deku in a more favorable position i honestly like even if he doesn't damage him right let's say all for one just like tanks it like if tokiyami is able to like release dark shadow and keep all for one away from deku nearly single-handedly that in and of itself will be like a crazy feat considering that like all for one considers himself like i don't know this 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 super super villain that's like in my golden era, era? I'm yeah cooking dude like, what a bro, first Jesus. Of all, corny ass line like no no argument I, from me right the thing, the thing is the thing is i think now this is something i i was talking about on twitter i don't i don't particularly care for the line one way or another however i do feel like horikoshi is trying to make all for one look washed up i mean no he, uh, th the problem is like all for one seems to be like on his shit like if we're being real like the entire arc like homie has, has fumbled maybe once you know what i mean like let's not pretend all for one isn't isn't you know the main instigator of like this war you know shigaraki's cool but until he gets his uh, like full control of his body back and all for one's in the dirt 
I don't know, man. You don't send Deku to the one that is secondary. That's how I feel about it. Like, I mean, you don't send one for all's quirk to like second fiddle. I think Shigaraki is very clearly the like. Even if you want to say all for one is more in control from a mental aspect, I feel like the fact that all for one is currently or was held off by the likes of Endeavor and Hawks initially, and now like Hawks with two wings, uh, like and the Shiketsu heroes, it kind of gives you. To me, at least, it gives you perspective as to which one is the bigger threat, right? Like, Shigaraki was, like, uh, may may have killed Bakugo, <laughs> slaughtered Miriko, Deku pulled up and was like, I still need his quirk to be deactivated, guys. Like, I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to scrap with him when he has all of his quirks, right? To, and then all for one, not being held off by weaklings by any means, right? But, I mean, like... Look. I and, think the ace in the hole is just the decay quirk being amped, n not even really the all for one quirk, because the whole point was <clears throat> assigning um, uh, Eraser and uh, Monoma to mm -hmm. keeping that specific quirk in check. But otherwise, mm -hmm. they're kind of at the same level of power, uh, both bodies, with uh, you all for so? one's you know initial body being more in control. That's what I think, right? Because like th like the main ace in the hole just is the decay quirk, right? Like it's like if he touches the ground with that quirk active, it's it's over. Like it's just fully mm -hmm. over. And I think that's like a huge factor to consider when you're uh, scaling the both of them. So like I think you know eraser not being a factor. Yeah, Shigaraki's just demonstrably like like obviously he's stronger, right? Like he is uh, all for one's masterpiece. He just has to be, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and. All for one's second body. Let's let's be real. Is it isn't something to sneeze at, especially after the airy uh, rewind buff? Uh, sure, mm -hmm. it's like a bit of a temp boost, but like, dude, prime all for one with his faculties, like, and his face, like, come on, like, yeah, Listen, dude, I'm, that's still not, crazy. Not, not weak at all. Like, I, I, it's still clearly taking everything we got and more to like hold him back, right? I'm like, just dude, saying. Hawks is holding his last feather in there. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, come on. For sure. <laughs> I, but I do feel like it is a point of, like, intention on Horikoshi's part to show maybe a difference between All for One losing his prime and All Might losing his prime. Like, to me, All Might, even though he's in the, like, objectively, physically weaker position, I feel like he doesn't come off to me, right? And this may... If you have a problem with the execution, that's completely, like, fair and valid. Even I have some problems with how I think this, this idea is being executed, but I think the idea is interesting, at least. All for our like all for one seems to have like like he's not passing shit on right. Shigaraki uh. is his is his masterpiece in the sense that like it's his new body right. Like that's that's the intention. But like mm -hmm. All Might was like no you are you like I'm passing the torch without like any selfishness involved. Um, I want to read the super chats in a second. Yeah. Just let me let me get this thought out <laughs> real quick. Um, I, I think I think to me all for one is like intentionally being portrayed in a slightly more like pathetic like okay washed up athlete sort of way right mm -hmm. like back in my day i was whatever whatever because he can't leave that alone like he can't he can't bring himself to detach from that because he's not he's not as strong now he's like you know if you guys saw me back in the day you wouldn't be fighting me right now it's like well who cares you're yeah, not like what you were back in the day we can fight you <laughs> like we're throwing hands and we got a dark shadow dude to beat your like yeah, that's no, kind of what it feels like to me. And it, All Might isn't isn't stuck in that past. A hundred percent. It's also kind of weird that he says that uh, with the rewind mm -hmm. active, because like th this yeah. this is you. Th this is literally <laughs> like what like what are you talking about, dude? Like yeah, huh? I I, I just yeah. do. I feel like and feel free to correct the analogy, but it feels like as if Michael Jordan could come back to the court with like a a, a youth serum or something and uh -huh, play like uh -huh. he was like twenty or thirty and be like, man, in my prime. Ooh, yeah. I would have smoked this guy. It's like, mm -hmm. dude, that, that that's you. That, that's th yeah, that's what, yeah, kind of. It, it'd be yeah. It, it's just like it, it's like all might seems to have been able to cope with the fact that he was not going to be the the spotlight in the spotlight forever, right? He was mm -hmm. able to convey his ideologies the way they need to be conveyed, give the power over, but like he didn't try to control Deku in that like in the you are just a vessel for my ideas and desires, right? It's hey. These are some heroic ideas I want you to carry on. This is, like, the purpose of One for All, all this, and do it as your own person. But All for One's like, no, 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 Shigaraki, <laughs> uh, you're the person that I'm going to be. I'm I'm, I'm literally, literally going to be like, you, whether you yeah, like it or not. That, that's Yeah, that's the idea. And to me, that's where All for One's going to be. Like, that's his downfall. Like, he didn't 
the Deku will never turn on All Might or like try to like like oh, I hate you, blah 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 because All Might was a better mentor and like he didn't rely on these like crazy manipulation tactics and he understood who Deku was as a character. All of those different things contributing to Deku probably being a better, um, more successful successor than Shigaraki was and one that's just generally more loyal. I think that's probably going to be a chink in All for One's armor and that's how I feel about it. Hundred percent. But yeah, you know, again give Tokiomi his flowers dude like this is still <laughs> a crazy know. feat like like but I Tokiomi did his thing yeah like uh, let's be like we'll read the super chats but like dude mm -hmm. I wasn't expecting this like, like this was not, not so, yeah I, I never give me a hundred guesses <laughs> and I, I would never have guessed you know dark shadow versus prime all for one I and it for and yeah. for it to be like a serious thing no I yeah, yeah no uh, all for one is like, damn, I'm about to get cooked. Like, uh, he's like, oh man, it. hope the sun comes yeah. up. Like, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, all right, now let's catch up to the yeah. super chats. Mountain Lord, um, uh, thank you for the two. Hey, can't stay, but I'll support the stream anyway. Thanks, man. Uh, uh, the VOD will be up later. Um, yeah, Funky Monk, thank you for uh, the 20. Uh, unless it is Deku versus Shigaraki, I have not been interested in My Hero Academia. Honestly, I don't disagree with you, but I like General coming back. I like uh tokiyami versus uh, uh all for one which again can't believe i'm even saying that <laughs> like <laughs> yeah i think there's stuff to like besides uh shigaraki and deku and i think that's that's good that you want more yeah. of that yeah um, yeah um caliber x4 thank you for the two all for one ain't cooking homeboys microwaving at best, best. i'm kind of with you on that <laughs> that's just kind of funny um yeah 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 microwaving at best is crazy and i like that i like the i like the microwaving term instead of cooking like i i kind of i kind of focus with it as like a lower level that should that should hit for real i'd love to um, see that. i i think what i yeah. uh want to extract from my hero just kind of looking at the arc holistically is yes baku goes whatever the hell that is uh <laughs> until yeah. we like have confirmation uh mm -hmm. it's definitely like a big stakes uh booster and I can't yeah. wait to see uh, if Horikoshi's going to triple down, you know, mm -hmm. go full, like, Game of Thrones, Red Wedding. No, Bakugo is actually dead. Like, yeah, he's, he's not only is Bakugo good. dead, I'm killing his parents. I'm killing half of Class 1A and Shuketsu. Like, 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 dude. And Eraser. By the way, at this point, you'd be doing Eraser head a fucking favor, dude. I, I'm sorry, uh -huh. but, like, the guy has just been, like, come on. Bro's like, been going through it. He yeah, been yeah. Going through it. Like, let him see, uh, what's his name, Shurikumo? Uh, uh, mm. the cloud guy, from, yeah. like his childhood friend, let him let him see him come back for a bit. Let them both go out that together. Would, that would be yeah. sick, bro. If, they, if if he like if he no, that would be like that would probably be okay. Like I would I would be sad because Isa was like goaded as fuck. Yeah. Like when you have the main antagonist being like, damn, you're so cool. I think you gotta kind of just be like, all right, hold on. Yeah. He, he he might be uh he, he, he might be over. cooking. Like dude, he, 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 like Horikoshi, either rewind him or put him out of his misery. Don't don't keep yeah. him like this, bro. Like don't do this to him. He's bro been through is, uh, so much. Bro is yeah, he's going through it for real. Um, it would be cool to see like if he if he was able to see Shirakumo again, that would be that would be really good. Like I, I would I would be satisfied with that conclusion for him. If he's like if he's just if he's just removed from the battlefield or like if he's you know, if he dies after that, like having like reconciled with him, that would be I would be okay with that. Like it would be sad, but I think that'd be an interesting way for Aizawa to go out. That is still shows the stakes but i also don't feel like uh, like he got shafted in spite of all his coolness um by the way shack thank you for the six or thank you for the seven rather all for one gives me the parent who tries to vicariously live through his children by <laughs> not moving me no more I love you that. that's a that's a like a great analogy yes actually. that's literally him um, also <clears throat> when did he move you like like when was the moment <clears throat> where you where all for one was like when bro that was talking guy. about the capitalist, bro, listen, I, I, maybe you don't remember, but when All for One, like, oh, yeah, when the, the first, the, 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 like, I'm gonna, like, distribute quirks across all of the blah, yeah. blah, 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 like, that, people were, people were moved by that chapter. I always, well, I won't say I always say it was fraud, because if I get a fucking, a soundbite pulled up of me thinking he was not a fraud, that's gonna be crazy, so, I'm gonna just say, uh, he's on fraud watch now. Yeah, uh, I will say, I'm, I'm, I was really pleased that Horkosha revealed that to be his, like, endgame. I was also kind of disappointed that he didn't like follow up because he just, he just seems to be like him and Shigaraki playing up the uh, comic book villain kind of mm -hmm. aspect to it, which I I don't know. Like you can you can do both, but I think balance them, especially if you're gonna have it be like a big reveal. You know, this is what Ultraman's yeah. been wanting the whole time. It's like you know you could mm -hmm. could have could just add that you know sprinkles. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, <laughs> like it's not <laughs> too much <laughs> trouble. You know, like like I don't want to impose on you, Horikoshi. <laughs> yeah i don't you know let me not let me not let me not go crazy yeah. but come on can we, can we cook can we do something yeah like yeah 
Like I'll even take like a little air fry, you know. <laughs> by the way, boil it, man. By the way, uh, as for uh, Tokiyama, I just want to say one thing. That panel where his eyes come out from behind all for one, oh, <laughs> goosebumps, that dude. Was that was hard. That was cold. Just that was, that was cold. I... That shit was cold. That was just so sick. I yeah. Hor- Horikoshi, bro. When he drops that horror manga that he keeps promising after my hero is over, hmm. I got expectations. That's all I'm gonna say. I got expectations, bro. That darkness you brought about, we've already devoured it whole. What the fuck? Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> what? I'm just, uh, bars. Like, what are we doing? Horikoshi, <laughs> you could look like this. I don't know. His their shadows above you mo- uh, moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah that shit was uh not... well hold on now um i can't believe i like for a second i was like yeah if we're crazy took you on me let me agree i just realized you said some blasphemous shit i'm gonna let you slide i'm gonna let you slide i'm gonna let you slide just um, just this once right just just this <laughs> once of course i'm glad you picked up on that um that was like actually like fucking perfect bit chemistry i'm not gonna lie to you i'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to dap you up on that one that shit was crazy yeah um Let's but go. anyways yeah oh uh, also johnny Hi. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. What's up, Johnny? I didn't even. <laughs> damn, I didn't even see you in shit. Yeah. Was, uh, we're gonna make a video on God of War and let me edit it. Listen, bro. bro listen, Johnny. You and me be on be on same timing because I actually uh, <clears throat> a a potential God of War versus another person who's uh, in, in a certain mythology may uh, I don't know, may come up. Anyways, um, <laughs> uh, whatever, whatever, whatever. Dude, that would be a crazy versus battle. So it would also take the most amount of research I think you'd ever have to do for a video because they're both yeah, like from and... pretty long form mediums yeah i'm okay with that though <laughs> i'm all right especially with the with the reading portion yeah that'll be okay uh but yeah, yeah. i think overall my euro i think aver- both halves kind of average out to like a cool 7.5 for me yeah i think i think it's cool like i'll i'll, I'll stick with a seven cooking may be a little aggressive um he baked maybe um but yeah that's that I, you know I think i think it was a solid chapter yeah i'm willing to take baking I, I like that mm-hmm. I, I like baking as a compromise uh yeah. All right, moving on to um, Black Clover, uh, or as people on Twitter call it, um, Naruto 3.0. <laughs> don't, 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 uh, don't do that, dude. Don't do that. I gotta know, like, as as a Naruto fan, like, like, like jokes aside, you saw the mm-hmm. eye thing. You felt um, some type of way. Also, uh, Funky no. Monk, thank you for the ten. Dark Shadow is part of the ten shadow. Team. Listen, bro, that would be kind of <laughs> listen. I, uh, Giga, I'm okay if you steal that. I'm gonna be real with you. I'm that's all right. Take that, please. Anyways, um, Percy versus Kratos, he cooking. What? That, that. Anyways, whatever. I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna I'm gonna just put my hands up. Know that I'm cooking. Um, the oven is being preheated right now. Right? We we ready. We ready. Uh, anyways, um, this Black Clover chapter. First of all, let's let's get the elephant out of the room. Right? With the Black Clover copy. Who gives a fuck, right? One, if he is, who cares, right? Like, genuinely speaking, why do you care, right? Let's 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 use Naruto as like a another baseline, right? And we'll use just another assumption because I don't think I don't think using a fucking like Tomoe, like a very popular cultural thing in Japan, is like the pinnacle of of plagiarism that a lot of people think it is. Like, imagine if you if you had like a cross as some imagery in your in your series like as an american or whatever it's like somebody in like the west right and people are like jesus you're 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 funny that i said that <laughs> yeah. but um you're 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 copying you're copying this story that story it's like dude what you mean the are bible you everybody about? copies yeah, like, that dude like <laughs> yeah like what, like what are we doing can we can we can we be honest can we can we be real um you know it's kind of crazy that black clover managed to rip off wano from one piece and naruto dude what's yeah what's bro it? like bro 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 <laughs> bro took the concept of of japan it's like what are we doing like and right let's say in in like the the worst case scenario for black clover like he did like he saw the sharingan or the renegon or whatever right and he was like that shit's sick i want it in my manga and why do you care one like one that idea is just like i feel like generally agreed upon by naruto fans it'd just be fucking sick like eye powers almost always cool i've rarely seen an eye power in an anime or a manga that simply put did not just hit right oh yeah the reason i'm, I'm yeah. sorry I'm, I'm like going through a list of them the six eyes the almighty yeah yeah there's a lot of these yeah, bro. eye powers eye powers just be cooking right the listen y'all were mad at the, for like for the wrong reason right 
the reason y'all should be mad is that this chapter was ass. ass. Like, yeah. it, 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 you shouldn't be mad that, oh my god, eye powers that, like, have some similarities to Naruto show up. Like, it bro, really who cares? Point. This chapter was whack. Like, okay. Bro, we, we spent an entire chapter on the five-headed dragon again? To the five-headed dragon. Ask. Move on, dude. I'm so bro. sick of this. Bro. Bro. What are we doing? I just... What are we doing? I just... Tabata, why you do this to me? Like, do you have any idea how hard I cape for you on this podcast? Um, bro, you, like, what just, is going... Also, hold on. Isn't this Sound Your G2 Fighters battle song, isn't that just the same thing as, like, uh, some other magic ability we've seen in the series? I feel like, isn't that that creative painter guy's ability? I don't remember these Black Clover characters' name, but it's it's one of the captains who, like... Am I thinking of somebody else? No, no, he, There's, like, his ability is just paint. Um, mm. By the way, you, you know uh, about the comparing big three thing? I was like, oh, where does he copy Bleach? And I just realized, oh, yeah, that's just Black Clover. Like, like it's heavily inspired by Bleach. Like, like it's just yeah. so obvious. I was like, yeah. like, yeah. You could have a, a much larger, like, overarching discussion about, like, people needing to put less emphasis on being original for the sake of being original. Because Black Clover is still just fun. Talk. Like, it, it's weird, right? Bl uh. Black Clover exists in this weird space where, like, it is, it is the staunch like middle child of weekly shonen jump never like in their top three even really their top five but just consistently there in like the six seven and eight range mm -hmm. absolutely crazy that taco has just been able to survive not only for this long but to somehow be this successful while never breaking into like the fucking zeitgeist the way uh my hero jjk chainsaw man like in them have it is just yeah. it, it is spectacular how mm -hmm. like I, I don't even want to say like average but it's just how decent black clover is like that is just that is just a testament to it mm. yeah i don't i mean i'm i like i okay here's my thoughts on it right mm. one nothing's by the way thank you for the confirmation test um but one um like nothing is ever going to be original like the period like it's all inspired from something subconsciously or consciously whatever whatever um like Gege fucking says that like uh, Kubo and um, Tagashi are like his biggest inspirations. You can see very obvious like parallels or like very mm -hmm. obvious inspired panels, blah, blah, blah. What matters to me and what I feel like should matter to most people when critiquing things is like, who cares about yeah. the originality of as it? As long as it's now, not straight up plagiarism, like it's fine. Yeah, as long as as long as it's not bordering on like a moral like theft, right? Like you're you're actual like th stealing someone's art, right? But we're we're talking about outside of that, right? Like just like just clearly taking like blatant um like inspiration to the point of being very obvious to people, even if you're a surface level reader, right? The thing is, the only reason I think that should like ever matter and like ever like in and of itself detract is if it feels repetitive stale or bland right so like i'll say this if you were someone that looked at this eye ability and sighed not because you've seen it in naruto but because it feels like a tired old like not ambitious trope or whatever like it feels like it fe it's it's just boring that's completely valid like i feel like there are a lot of things that like because they're unoriginal or because they are unoriginal in concept and in execution they feel bland and i feel like that is more of an accurate or not more of an accurate it's more of a um like reasonable criticism of a work than just being like but it took inspiration from this though it's like and, who yeah like really is it good <laughs> and like and like and like here's the thing why do you care right because like let's 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 say you take your favorite 10 out of 10 series, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is, but just just imagine your favorite 10 out of 10 series individually. Now, blink and imagine that you find out tomorrow that 50% of its concepts and ideas were taken or at least inspired in a, once again, not plagiarism way, but were taken from another series. And I want to genuinely ask you, does your favorite series become any less enjoyable in your mind simply because it has taken inspiration heavily from something else? If not, what are we doing, right? Because, like, really, I feel like... And here's the big thing, right? Mm -hmm. The copying thing, I don't think people genuinely care. Gener like, 
on on the whole i think it is it's just a reason to slander something like oh gege copied tagashi oh naruto copied hunter hunter oh black clover copied naruto blah 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 like these aren't i i don't think these are ever criticisms or like um problems made in good faith they are just reasons to like lay slander at a particular series right because like let's be real let's be real you probably don't care that this that this i ability exists in a vacuum right like mm -hmm. it is typically people that dislike black clover using it as a way to disparage the series and like knock it more if you don't like the i ability or hell if you don't think it's original that's fine like that's cool right but typically what i've noticed is the people that are like oh my god fucking tabata's never been original in his life typically are people that have that never have anything good to say about the series and i don't think that's a coincidence at all yeah it's really shitty because like it kind of defeats just how hard it is to get a series as far as black clover has gotten and for as long mm -hmm. as it's gotten and just be like no it's because it copied x y and z it's like look i can copy like like all the big three right now <laughs> and i have a feeling all of you are going to tell me creams this is ass <laughs> <laughs> like, right? What Black Clover has done, right? I, and I and I mean this like in a very small, like like you know, almost uh, Haruta like way, is a miracle. Mm -hmm. Like, oh Jesus! <laughs> the fact that it ha that it has been able to go on for better part of ten years, the what third, fourth longest running series in Weekly Shonen Jump right now, like after My yeah. Hero, and still like like not fall off or get canceled. Come on. That's insane. So they ga yeah. they gave him a month break for Black Clover. Like they gave him three months. They gave him three months, dude. Like that's that's crazy. Mm. That's so crazy yeah. to me. Mm. I'm yeah, so, if I'm... you think about it, Naruto Naruto copied Hindu mythology with the six paths of pain. So L series, really, yeah, like. Like, L, L manga for taking inspiration <laughs> from religion, for real. But also, Tessera mentioned something, right? Like, that people can't seem to... Like, it's something that happens because it's an obvious comparison, right? Cool. The thing is, I have no problem with comparison. I'm one of the people that I'm like, I'm completely fine, I'll say 99% of the time, with, like, taking a series and being like, how does this compare to this one, if you use it as a benchmark of quality? That's fair, that's fine, right? Now, if the thing people were saying is, like this ability the tengetsu or whatever it's called right mm. is worse than the sharingan not because it came after it or it takes inspiration but because it's simply put yes. that and then they gave me reasons right it's whatever it's less aesthetically appealing it's blah 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 it's this that and the third right cool you can pull that criticism off right you can get that off but the reason it would be bad is not because they're similar it's because their execution exist on different levels like you would just say that the sharingan has more of this and that and that and because of all those those things it makes it good and the fucking uh tengetsu is is lame not because it's similar to the sharingan but because like it's only similar visually or it's only similar on a like a at face value and has none of the depth or blah 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 that the sharingan does now i think those criticisms would be slightly unfair considering we've only seen this eye ability once but those are more reasonable things that you can do. And I would listen to that. I would hear that and be like, okay, I can engage in an actual, like, intellectual conversation with you, right? If you're, like, comparing two things, um, like art between two series, right? And you're like, no, 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 no. This art is bad because it's similar. Well, you're dumb. I can't have a conversation <laughs> with you. You're an idiot, right? Clearly, you're not a high enough evolved life form to converse with, right? But if you are like this art is bad not because they're similar but because of this problem and this problem and this problem and they can't depict action and their expressions are weaker and blah 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 now we could talk right i may disagree regardless but we can have a discussion based on things execution because this is something i kind of think and barring some like ridiculous circumstances that are outside of like my field of view and ability to predict i really think that almost any concept can work like I think conceptually stories It's all about execution, yeah. It's all it's almost all about execution. Now some concepts may be more engaging to me personally than others just off of that. Like like I said, 
give me a samurai story. Okay. Well, I'm at least I'm at least gonna hear you out, right? Yeah. I'm at least gonna listen to you. But <laughs> a, a concept I don't think has like any any higher like narrative value inherently than other concepts. And taking one from another story does not mean like the Tengetsu being similar to the Sharingan, inspired by Naruto or not, does not affect its quality. It just doesn't. And like honestly, bringing this back to the. Uh to the actual chapter mm -hmm. dog the chapter's bad <laughs> the five-headed dragon like like Dude. that it spawned this yeah. this whole discourse and i just i I, whack, I don't know if i resent it for it or for, or i feel like we're just making we're taking blood up out of stone but dude i am so happy to be done with this stupid little like sequence the mm -hmm. second i see lucius again i think there'll be a course correction but like i i need i need, we need something you know, back on the screen you you get it you know you know when you know fights uh fights lucius and uh gets three more power-ups and wins that's how that's how we're gonna know we're Bro, it's, it's gonna be crazy um, that they're all gonna fight lucius he's gonna beat them all and nobody's gonna die it, it's crazy that i already <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, bro. that's gonna be an insane sound bite that's gonna be an insane sound bite um when uh when yami fake dies anyways oh, no, crazy yeah. crazy 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 um <clears throat> no but this chapter was listen the one thing I will give it is that it's short, so I don't have to like revel yeah. in it all that long. Why? It's thirteen, it's thirteen I, I, pages. I noticed that like it was a it was a shorter chapter, and I'm just like, you know, you can. I, ho I hope I hope I hope the was all right, like health wise, yeah. but I'm glad that this chapter was short from from a content perspective. Yeah. I didn't need seventeen pages of this. I I, I think I'm like, I'm, I'm thinking I'm like, you know, Tabitha, this this, this could have waited, honestly. Like like this, believe me, dude. The the. <laughs> <laughs> the streets weren't asking for this one <laughs> yeah bro uh, and by waited it we mean we could have opted out to begin with like yeah i, I wouldn't have been mad if you off screened it if i oh, may shit. i'll be right back um yeah you're good um honestly you know off screening of this five hundred dragon or just a quick i mean i don't know man it just like as a like a monster as an antagonist it just feels so boring um and maybe hot take but this fight wasn't interesting enough from a like a power system perspective or like visually like with its art or like choreography to justify it right um real quick satchel uh satchel harding thank you for the five dollars i appreciate that um thank you so much now um yeah like for example we've seen like i i'll be the first to admit like i like uh like yuji versus the grasshopper curse that is a fight that takes place between yuji and a nobody curse spirit character right uh, however, because Gege knows how to uh, draw fights, it hit. That's it. Like that, it's as simple as that. Um, but Tabata to me has like he's he's good. He's like a great artist. Some may prefer him over Gege. Blah blah blah. But he this fight just is it. It doesn't have enough like meathead visually appealing qualities to supersede the fact that this five headed dragon is not a character and actually just extremely lame uh conceptually and like visually and just like generally in terms of its execution um it's uh it's it, it's yeah i don't know seems like uh by the way caliber x4 thank you for the two dollars seems like black clover is microwaving for real um not even not even that they uh no nah, they're not they're not cooking they're there is there is no heat being distributed to this food. Um they put this shit in the freezer. That shit is this is, this is not working. Um <clears throat> let's see. Only real death in Black Clover is the Golden Dawn Squad. I can't remember. And this isn't like I'm not I I feel like the whole Black Clover has a stakes thing is such a tired and like drawn out thing. Um that like I generally agree with. But I also feel like it's something I've mentioned um, and something that, um, I don't know. It's like, yeah, it, it, Black Clover characters don't die. Um, uh, that, I mean, that's kind of that's kind of where we're at. I'm hoping this arc changes up. I'm hoping um, we get to see something different. But yeah, um, I don't know. I, I'll say this, like, Wall Creams is still gone. I felt like Tabata had a very strong start to his, like, comeback from three months. But slowly but surely, he's been going back and kind of, like, falling into the similar patterns that I, like, haven't enjoyed from him um, b before that, right? It's, like, chapters that are individually pretty lame and, like, don't hit on a weekly read. Um, generally feeling like there's, like, 
I, not really a reason to care and like investment lack of lack of interesting characters outside of Asta or like other established very main characters like Yami, you know, Noel, all that stuff. Like I care about Asta. I care about how he goes about things. And I, I guess tangentially care about sister Lily um, because Asta cares about her, but I don't really care about any of the reason seven. Um, I think Ichika is actually like the opposite of that. I think she's extremely annoying. Um, Ryu is cool. I guess um, I don't feel any type of way about him and all of the other reason seven range from like interesting in concept to actually boring in every facet of them. Um, so yeah, I mean, I just don't particularly care for it. Um, I guess we'll see if Tabata is like after the 500 dragon has been dealt with, we're going to see if Tabata like switches perspectives or if we're going to see more of the Reusen 7 and Asta. Um, I'm hoping for a perspective switch just so we can really, we can really switch things up and we can, uh, we can really see, really see what, what is happening in other places during Black Clover or during this time frame. But right now, Black Clover has been on kind of a cold streak for me. Um, this chapter in particular, it, I think is bad. Um, I don't really, let me see, what was the last chapters again? Let me just quickly go over that. Oh, last chapter was kind of whack too. Um, a lot of that was the five-headed dragon and that was, that and like, I guess, Ryu and uh, other iron guy. <laughs> that, that was their chapter. Um, that was okay, I guess. Anyways, uh, uh, Takasugi, thank you for the $2. When the 24-hour stream dropping, love the podcast. Listen, listen, listen. Um, 24-hour stream... I don't know, but you guys are getting a long stream on episode 50, I will say that. I don't know if it's going to be 24 hours long. Uh, 24 hours may be something we do for like a, a mile to like 100. But me and Creams have decided that that's going to be the longer stream for you guys. I don't know if that's going to be 24 hours, though. This is wild JJK talk, please. Listen, I'm just holding down the fort until Creams gets back. Um, and then we can get into the JJK chapters. So if you guys have any questions, even if they're related to JJK or about the video I made or about like Black Clover and My Hero, I'm cool with answering them. I don't want, I just don't want to get into the JJK discussion without Kareem's. I feel like that'd be uh, a little rude without my co-host, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah. So yeah, Oda be cooking? Listen, bro. Um, my lawyer isn't here then, uh, here right now. So I, I legally, I know that I shouldn't really speak on it but yeah um need more of those weekly vids uh running yeah definitely something i i want to do uh i think that was pretty fun to make um that's it yeah gege was cooking gege was indeed cooking when, when we get to jjk i do not want any ug downplay you might be getting uh you might be getting ug downplay nah but anyways um let's see percy jackson lost olympian versus all four disaster curses at their peak Listen, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> so off the top of my head, I don't have like an immediate answer for you, but that should tell you that I have been working on Percy scaling. Um, and I'll put it like this. It is not crazy. <laughs> per Percy got some good scaling. That's what I'll say. That's what I'll say. That's what I'll say. That's what I'll say. Um, that's what I will say. Um, yeah. Sakamoto Days, JJK, and Chainsaw Man are cooking and jump. Yeah, Sakamoto Days is always cooked. Like, Sakamoto Days, it almost, and, like, I was telling somebody this on Twitter when they were asking me if I if I watched, uh, or if I read, rather, Mission Yuzakura and Sakamoto Days, because I, I typically tweet out about JJK, sometimes My Hero, and even more rarely Black Clover. But I don't tweet out about Sakamoto Days at all, really, because it's just, like, a consistently damn banger, damn banger, damn banger. And the same thing with Mission Yuzakura family. Um, it's never really lacking at all ever like there's never a chapter where i'm like damn this was just okay like I, maybe there's there's one or two here or there I but i'm so it, sorry it's never really the uh, good. dude that was a You're rough, all good. rough uh little break um all good all good uh if you want you can tag out you know for as long you know as, as no I'm, I'm all good oh, i'm all good I'm i all see good. somebody push the percy jackson button yeah that's why you're all good yeah. huh? don't worry man I, I i briefly covered it right i briefly covered it um i really doubt yeah. that it was brief but you know what yeah yeah oh hold on caliber x4 thank you for the five. Oh my just God. started reading percy <laughs> jackson i'm enjoying it so far i'm glad you're enjoying it man um i really am glad that you're enjoying it um 
let me what what book are you on i'm curious i i gotta i gotta know where you're at um i'm not gonna clearly not gonna spoil shit but i'm, I'm genuinely curious what book you're on i think in any case uh also, um, i saw somebody say they might switch out a uh, strong why do you do this chat why do you guys do say? this to me listen s sbm mm. uh i might switch out block over for sakamoto days listen bro i'm not i wouldn't be mad at that like if, if cream said all right all right bro new big three chapters that we cover in the pod and he said sakamoto days sakamoto I, days i'm down is so down. good okay it's so fucking good i literally don't know if i can stomach waiting week to week for chapters i have to, like there was a point where i was like i can only do this for volumes because i need to savor <laughs> every last like panel from sakamoto days i love sakamoto days it's mm -hmm. like the anguish of having to wait week to week is like a nightmare for me i wake up at night with just cold sweats at the thought uh -huh. of waiting a single day longer for a sakamoto days chapter than i have to yeah 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 um i i was just telling chat to you the reason i don't even like really mention it and mission as a girl family all that much is just because like it's just so consistently good that i feel like just tweeting out banger 10 out of 10 chapters just like it just get repetitive you know what i mean um like Sakamoto Days just hits. Uh, it's it's nothing. It does nothing too in aside from action. The action is fucking ridiculous. But like it just like it's like damn. This is good. This is just enjoyable. This is this just good manga for real. Uh, um, Funky Monk, thank you for the five size hop of creams. What do you think of the One Piece chapter? Ooh, damn rare One Piece question. Let's go. Uh, I re I enjoyed it. I'm really excited. Uh, kids, it's over. Uh, it was nice knowing him. Uh, he put him in a pack. Uh, you know, get the flowers. Tell his family. Um, well, they're gonna die with him uh <laughs> dude it is so over it is so fucking over for eustace kid right and 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 if shanks himself actually like shows himself in the fight i <laughs> dude i'm every single time shanks shows up in a chapter i i my heart starts racing right i'm like this is it we're finally gonna see Wait, it. it we're finally gonna the see guy it. that is kid the guy that everybody like makes fun of for being a loser he's not necessarily a loser he just has uh, a bit of jogo syndrome you know the don't you, you know no, the problem no, 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 you no. know his Dude, condition I'm, I, I'm, I'm already gonna tell you this if you compare to kid if you compare whoever this motherfucking bum is you will unironically i'm not even kidding like you will unironically love kid when you get to that part no, of one piece like dude I I, I he's genuine love listen bro things. but dude he made one mistake right and that was uh how do, how do i uh translate this for you for like another series um this would be the equivalent of uh <laughs> okay what kid did would be the equivalent of uryu trying to challenge uh fully awakened kenpachi listen what i'm gonna say <laughs> is this right? i'm gonna say this um like what is what is kids ability is he just like a hockey only guy you get devil fruit what do you, what he's, do you he's what's got, his... so he has hockey um he also has a the magnet magnet fruit um okay yeah so okay so... Let, now now listen 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 mm -hmm. here's the thing right shanks has a sword right right he's simply going to take the sword away and then shanks can't fight we <laughs> kid wins hello oh and kid has conquerors you know what br are you saying are you locking in that that uh kid is going to to kill shanks uh kill no i don't think oda i don't think oda's got a killing bone in his body um but oh, that's crazy but um i will say i will say listen put it on the put it on the record put it on the record kate is going to do better than you guys think i don't fucking know this bro's guy. just waffling yeah you know it's crazy i, 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 I heard bro, i heard he's a bum and i said hold on bro i can't wait cook. for that uh for you to like f uh, pick up one piece again and for you for you for for us to get like that fucking broken ronin Damn, Marine Ford was a ten out of ten. I switched up. It's I, I finally read Peak Fiction, dude. Listen, bro. Here's the thing. Like, I, I. So Doofy said Marine Ford's a ten out of ten. So yep. I trust him, right? Like more, more, more than you, right? You, Insane. you think anything's that? You think anything's good? Like once again, <laughs> chat to reiterate, Black Clover is in his top ten. I okay? love Black. So, it's so fun, dude. Like I said, like I said, like hey, I respect you. You're my friend. You're my homie. Your taste simply uh, too low brow for me, right? I need a little bit more of a connoisseur like Doofy. So Doofy said it was really good. You were so here I tried some would be really week good. to week with me talking about Black Clover, bud. Yeah, I'm I'm here literally to make sure that you don't spread lies about it being <laughs> good consistently. What are we doing? All right, go on. Um, what I'm saying, right, is Marine Ford could be a ten out of ten. Um, shit, and his lobby was fucking sick. Like I I feel like so I'm a One Piece hater. But I'm also not delusional. 
Um, I just have an agenda to push, right? Like, any <laughs> lobby was good. Water 7 was good. The th uh, the thing is, though, um, there's a lot of One Piece that isn't. So, it listen, won't be... Bro. Listen, I'm going to say this. Oda has to go on a Marine Ford Water 7, like, Annie's Lobby type, type of shriek of arc to make up for the beginning 100 chapters because that was some doo-doo. And, and also... Get Sanji out of this damn manga, bro. Get him <laughs> out of my here. my goat, dude? The best character? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to pull up the screenshots. Yes. Um, oh, so people are mentioning Smallville in chat? Let's go. Yes, Smallville is my favorite live action show of all time. Purely, and I'm, I'm going to be so for real with you guys. I told Broken Runner about it. I, uh, I told, like, all my friends about it. Purely nostalgia for me. Like, I just... You know, there's, like, this one series that is just, like, carried by nostalgia. Like, full Stockholm Syndrome. Like, you're just in it, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's what Smallville is for me. I have an entire row on my bookshelf just for the uh, all 10 seasons of the Smallville DVD box set. The DVD yeah, bro, box set. I don't own a DVD player. I had to buy <laughs> like one of those like external USB ones. I do not know where it is. I I yeah, think funny. I got it only for Smallville and like I think Family Guy. But like yeah, Smallville's uh, number 1, but you know, that's 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 my kid, you know, brain talking. Yeah. Bro, so this I'm is first of all Thriller Brock was ass, but yeah. If we're talking about, like, my favorite live-action show of all time with, like, you know, my head on straight, Sopranos, mm -hmm. easily. Interesting, interesting. Yeah. I've been seeing some Sopranos into it, man. Um, dude, Nerva. This this comment, I, I want to highlight this. Mm -hmm. He said that he got to Wano and then dropped it. Getting to... Getting... Oh, oh my God. <laughs> getting a thousand chapters in a manga and then an arc being so bad or boring that you just said fuck it i can't do it anymore that's <laughs> insane like Dude, that i almost dropped one piece on one new. i yeah i, I mean and you that's bro fiction bro one, one piece Dude, peak, bro listen listen, bro. listen 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 you were there during my one piece wano arc you know yeah. no, how I bad it got. I, yeah. I, I know how bad it got, bro. All I'm saying is I never want to drop bleach and i definitely never want to drop naruto so all i'm saying is listen Bro, y'all sound like y'all went through it. Like reading One Piece seems like a chore sometimes for y'all, but that's all. I'm, that's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. Also, like, funny that's it. thank you for the other five. Uh, Mihawk gonna have to pull up and beat him, dude. You think Shanks Mihawk. needs Mihawk to pull up for Eustace Kid? No, nah, that's mm -hmm. crazy. Also, Mihawk, you know he's got his own problems. You know he has a crew now, people to look after, loved ones. <laughs> uh dude um, i will say though uh uh i just wanted to talk about this somewhere one of the mm -hmm. coldest lines in one piece dropped a couple weeks ago so yeah. uh, uh do you care about spoilers for for like this deep into one piece uh yes if i'm gonna read it uh um, if it's if, yeah i, don't, I mean, I mean you, a line you, is fine but a, a plot okay. related spoiler where do, people do, are going i don't uh, i'll keep it vague do you know what the seraphim are like have you been seeing that seeing that around the timeline Oh, uh, no. I don't know what that is. Okay. Okay. I'm not even going to spoil it. But I will say oh. the line, uh, now that I look closer, you see more human than he does. Crazy oh, cold line, that, dude. That, that does sound like that could be hard. Like, it, in the right context, that does sound like that oh, could be yeah, hard. Oh, yeah. Dude, that was insane. Dude, it's like... It, it, it's like so it's like imagine somebody's fighting uh uh Aizen's son or something and mm. and and i it's like basically like Aizen 2.0 when he was like a shinigami e even better than like his base state and so and like mm. ichigo's fighting him he's like damn dude you're way more human than your dad <laughs> <laughs> damn, like okay yeah like it was just such a raw line dude interesting interesting also johnny first of all never mind listen bro i i don't want to i don't want to slander you but you have my heroes like your top two so um I oh yeah like Johnny was uh, was uh, you know suspiciously quiet during the My Hero praise or the My Hero arc of this. Uh, also, yeah. saying like, bro, listen, all I'm Goda, ew. Uh, Let's all go. I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, one creams. You don't have One Piece as your top one, so it you're not. you're not like a you're not a true like like a, a One Piece writer, bro. You're just like you're just a fan on the side. Listen. Uh, now, Johnny, as for you, you have the severe mental illness known as being a One Piece fanatic. However, Dex. I feel like we can save you. I feel like we can still get you out of there, man. We got. Dex. We can get you out of there. We just got to do some crazy shit. Dex, I ought to refund you. That's a crazy the, thing to say to the me. The One Piece is the friends we made along the way, not the treasure. Listen, one of my like, and it's a and listen, I'll, I I understand it's a vindictive wow. passion, it's a vindictive dream, a want, a desire, right? But I just want, maybe if it's not this one, maybe, maybe I just want to see a reality. Just see a week, a month, a year into the future 
of a, of a reality where Oda made the One Piece the friends we made along the way. Like, I, maybe I don't wish that on you guys, this, right? right? Maybe maybe I become a One Piece fan eventually, and I wouldn't wish that on myself. But what I want to say is this: I am genuinely, wholeheartedly curious to see just the fallout like a year two years three years right where does one piece's legacy go does it does it Bro, go the listen, way of attack on titan listen what are we doing if you think attack if you think attack on titan's ending will be controversial right if oda does that you understand everyone he's 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 locking the doors to his mcmansion and he's never coming out like it's over dude you're gonna see yeah. ebay filled with people trying to offload their one piece manga including me y'all would not believe the switch up i have planned if the one piece was the friends we made along the way oh dude denial uh, uh lying it wasn't me over and over and over uh, again dude I, I every single like deep fake huh yeah, bro. ai you know <laughs> you know what's interesting what i'm also what i'm more interested in seeing is like obviously the, the slander is going to be crazy right slander is going to be like historic I look forward to the slander. I also look forward to the justification. Ooh, the the this has been foreshadowed since the beginning of the series. The this thematically makes sense. The all of the all of the just the wonderful like the coping. I like listen, it won't happen. I'm pretty sure Oda said it won't happen. Although Oda he said did. Kaido wouldn't be beat with a big punch he, too. He so. did say that. Well, what, what what do I know, right? But it probably won't happen to be honest, right? But if it did, I would just. It would just be amazing to see like some of the justification. I, I I think I get a real kick out of that reality. Just chilling in there for I will, for a couple of days. I need you guys to understand. Twitter. I will hit gear five tune force. My legs will go in an infinity shape as I run away and go. <laughs> and you'll never, bro. It'll it, it'll I'll go ghost, dude. I'll pull a full mm. fucking Danny Phantom with One Piece. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, saying Odo like is it fumbling y'all crazy is is kind of insane because he's like just read the manga if you want to fumble anyways that's let me relax let me pull back let me let me pull back uh, hey, Liv's about to lose her mind yeah. from no JJK <laughs> talk, <laughs> all right so, so, sorry I think, uh, I think that's our sign yeah. to, to get into it both of our buttons got pushed uh <laughs> i am curious for later so i just want to throw this out there two things one like the stream guys like the stream two we uh, are actually cooking. I lied. There's three things. We are actually cooking with uh, episode 50. And we've been talking about. We got stuff planned. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, be there for episode 50. That is in three weeks. Uh, if Gege leaves us out to dry with no chapter. Insane. But <sighs> insane. We'll, you know, we'll not live. good. We'll, we'll survive. Right. Yeah. Again, not yeah. good, bro. Let's, let's not, you know, let's not push it if we don't have to. And number three. Watch Smallville. It's so, like, honestly, it's corny. You'll love it. Don't watch that shit. You'll love it. Like it's it's just you'll lose your mind. Have a have a drinking game with your friends. It is it just brings the family together. It does not. <laughs> no, but let me let me not slander. <laughs> let, me not slander. <laughs> let me relax. Anyways, JJ Kate's on. Yes. All right. Uh whoa. Yeah. <laughs> I um, I don't even know where to start. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the, um, the chapter literally i remember you mentioning this last week right but it's like if if gege just continues the chapter and shows that angel just actually gets eaten i'm gonna be sick and then that's just what happened um look bro we, that, that just uh that that was just there i don't even know where to start with this because like let's take it chronologically that's a good that's that's how gege took it we <laughs> can take it the same way all right Sukuna is Angel dead. We'll we'll start there. Listen, bro. One, her arm got ripped off, right? Crazy. Got to mm. be bleeding out. Two, um, now Splat. the official said <laughs> said wood, right? The official said wood, but the TCB scans said splat, Blat. right? That's hilarious too. That's that's giving me real. You blew up on like you you popped on impact vibes. You know what I mean? They gave me like real. You're actually dead vibes, right? Pr like I'll say hopefully not and the reason i hope not is because it would be insane to have killed her like this if you were going to give us that flashback chapter it was like, really insane bro please dude. don't do that like I'm, I'm i'm hoping she's alive like in, in this weird way more so than like oh she's the only one that could go draw blah 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 no no bro i don't want that chapter to have been for nothing i need i need some reason for it also yeah. 
Uh, Caliber X4, thank you for the two dollars. UG Yuji Himdori. Himidori. Also, dude. yeah, no, no, no. Kogane does confirm that she's not dead yet. Uh, um, I really. I, oh yeah, yeah. I didn't even notice that on my first three, but somebody pointed it out to me on Twitter. Um, yeah, there was no points gathered, and I'm just, I'm just gonna say it, dude. I like these last three chapters. I legit forgot that we're still in the calling games. <laughs> it almost yeah. feels like an entirely new arc. It, it, it's been. I feel like the severity of everything that's been happening has. Uh has been really making the Culling Games, which is insane to say, but it's been making it feel uh, a little bit less dangerous. Yeah, it's weird how crazy the switch up is. Uh, not even the switch up, but like, dude, Kenjaku won, he got Tengen, right? And nobody's talking about it the second uh, uh, Sukuna got into Megami's body. It was mm. like, we it almost didn't matter. Shit, yeah, it, 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 we, Sukuna we're... stole the show, like straight up. Clear, clearly the bigger thing is, yeah, okay, yeah, Tengen, blah, 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 the world. Bro, Megami is, Megami is gone. Sukuna is active. We... We gotta. We're in DefCon Five. Bro, like, new ways on the clearly... roids, dude. He's on the juice. Yeah, bro. And you know, yeah, I just, I just, I'm just gonna say it, dude. My personal headcanon, as of right now, I think uh, Angel's technique that that attack she did on Sukuna uh, weakened mm -hmm. uh, uh, the bond or whatever the hell, like the mechanism for how Sukuna is able to do what he does to his vessels, just mm -hmm. enough for making me to get some kind of threshold uh, uh, to like weaken yeah. his powers to give Yuji a fighting mm -hmm. chance. That yeah. being said, I do not want anybody to get distracted from the main point, and that is, Yuji is punching the hell out of Megami right now. <laughs> bro, <laughs> like, listen, that's bro, crazy. Bro understands the distinguishment. This is a Megami. This is Sukuna. Sukuna. Like, I know, you... but like, dude, wa watch uh, uh, Megami wake back up from his body and be like, "Oh, Yuji, you saved my life." But also, dude, you broke three of my limbs, all my ribs. Like, I, I, I oh, oh, I wish Yuta was here my, instead of my, you. My fucking jaw is dislocated. It, 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 Somebody yeah. hell, this shit, this shit hurts. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but you know, I believe in you. I always knew you had it in you, dude. You're, you know, you're, 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 you're a great friend. But also, seriously, if I, if I don't get medical attention, we're both gonna die. Yeah. Um. Yeah. A yeah. shack, thank you for the 279. Yuji Yuji used reverse curse technique. I will not stand down. How is he up? Yeah, so that was another thing that I just wanted to focus on really quickly. Did you also think uh Sukuna like blasted through his chest? Because like that's what I thought happened. I, I thought so. And the thing is, like, he has a hole on the other side of his hoodie. Yeah, like so where the yeah. There there is impact that went through there. The big thing to me is like it's still first of all, M3D, thank you for the five. I'll read that in a second. But um, like I think there is some there's some ambiguity here because Yuji's finger is like still gone. God. I think I think yeah. we see it still. So it's like, well, what the f what what? Hello, um, I f I feel I don't know. RCT is like that's definitely the obvious like answer. It's definitely the obvious. He's alive. He's up. Um, but there's this there's this other weird thing that's kind of like bugging me. Um, or that that's that's been bugging me. Right. Um, I don't know if we we saw it straight up. Um, but like the fact that there's uh, the the like damage through uh, on the other side of his stomach kind of implied to me that Yuji should have torn through Yuji's hoodie in the front part. But yeah, that's also fake. I, I saw somebody, uh, uh, I think it was on Twitter or somewhere else, say uh, Sukuna punched him so hard that the like uh, top part of the thread of his clothes didn't have an effect, but his like body and like yeah. the force carried into like the back half of his shirt. And that's where the rip yeah. is, but I'm like, that seems like it, a lot, mm -hmm. you know. I, mean, I I imagine it's just force traveling through his body and like blowing up on the other side. Yeah, I, yeah, like, I just that's what I guess is yeah, but that, that's what I guess the justification. But it, it it almost feels like, like he he could have just blown a hole through his chest. You know what I mean? Like like that's kind of the way it looked to me. Also, yeah. damn, dude, these donos. Okay, let's let's. Yeah. <laughs> you want to read? Okay, let, M3D, thank you for the five. Not gonna lie, I was worried before, but if Sukuna is weakened, better hope Kashima or Maki don't pull up. The King of Curse is gonna end up on a T-shirt. Oh, dude, if we're talking about weakened Sukuna and this was Maki instead of uh, Yuji, I, she might actually. Well, listen, kill bro. Here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing. So I want to get into that in a little bit, right? But I just want to throw this this idea out. Is is you should Yuji be worth like? Is Maki even that much of a difference in what Yuji is right now, right? I'll I'll throw that thread out there, like, cause oh, like before it's been clear Maki way stronger than Yuji, like mm -hmm. in terms of like even what he's good at, right? So, like, yeah, you would prefer Maki in a fight than you would Yuji, but you know we we can discuss this in a little bit. But it's like, well, does is that difference there anymore? You know what I mean? Like, does that exist now? Um, and I I, I mentioned I... this in the video I made, but I was like, I don't. No, I don't. I really don't know. Um, it's 
it's Obviously, so, there's like, no, like... I want to yeah. know because, like, Sukuna's... It, it just narrative... Like, he's just been... He even stated, like, oh, yeah, I'm weakened right now, right? Mm-hmm. I, I just want to know how he scales to mock. Like, is this another awakening for Yuji? Is this just resolve? Is this him just kind of, like, going in for the kill? Is this... Like, like what is happening to Yuji, right? Is this him, mm-hmm. like... Like in his fight with Toto, or like a like a pre post Black Flash kind of moment, or is this him in like a I'm you kind of moment? You know what I mean? Because like mm-hmm. anything, I definitely like, I definitely think it's an app. Like I don't think Yuji's fucking jumping off of a building and that shit is oh, like oh dude that like was part so of crumbling under raw. I, and then he and then bro oh kicked God. the bridge. Like he kicked the bridge. He just kicked a chunk of the bridge, ripped up this like this lamp post with concrete still attached to it and just like bro is clearly cooking um now we still have we still have a couple right so yeah. orbital poet thank you for the thank you for the two i never i never knew i needed to see yuji spin Suka dude job. yes yeah. dude that felt so cathartic for me i was literally like get him yuji get him because like I, I, for a minute there i was stepped in I stepped inside yuji's shoes right and i was like i just was like i remember shibuya dude kick his ass yeah <laughs> Me- <laughs> megami will understand get him get him get him get him yeah for sure now uh the dj uh, 2000, thank you for the five. Are you really trying to look me in the eyes and say that Megami somehow suppressed Sukuna by a significant amount of fingers without him realizing first? Well, I yes. mean, yeah, it could be that, I mean, but that's because... why I think that's why I see the angel thing kind of rolls in because if we're talking about like her main curse technique is the ability to negate techniques, it seems like what she attacked had to have been a technique, right? That's and mm-hmm. Sukuna seems to be like perturbed or like dis- disfigured by it. Mm-hmm. So that to me is like a signal that it's like sound to the venom symbiote right it's like you, it, she's fundamentally attacking the relationship or the bond that uh sukuna has with megami as a host so like that yeah. that's where my uh uh thinking comes in yeah so yeah I, I think angel's definitely like allowed for that wedge to be to be opened by megami but here's the thing right like to answer the question like oh Suka, there's no way sukuna couldn't have noticed but he already didn't notice until his power didn't work the way he thought it should right mm-hmm. to me showing that like it's very possible that, like, one, it's clear, first of all, like, I want to make this extremely clear. Sukuna being weakened does not negate the fact that Yuji is, like, objectively stronger and faster than he's ever been before, mm-hmm. right? Like, Sukuna literally, Sukuna, who's been in his body, right, who's seen his, his like, from, from damn near a, a first-person perspective, is, like, where did this strength come from? That question alone confirms that this is strength Yuji hasn't shown at any point prior, so that's cool. Like, Yuji being 10 times, whatever, however many times stronger you think he is, that is not up for debate. Saying Sukuna has been weakened throughout this fight, though, one, I think holds up Sukuna's integrity as a fighter. Like, it allows for both things to be true. It situationally allows Yuji to come off as, like, an extreme badass, but it also doesn't, like, it allows for Sukuna to not be, like, weakened, quote-unquote, in terms of, like, his portrayal in the yeah. eyes of the viewers. Yeah, it, it's, um, because... it's realistic enough for Yuji to get the buff and for Sukuna to be weakened. Uh, so I mm-hmm. think like this little meeting halfway, just mm-hmm. that panel where he punches uh, Sukuna, dude. Just, just what a great yeah. one to end on. I'm sorry, but yeah. this chapter. It, it was dope. I was, in, I was just beside myself. I was like, damn, Gagey yeah. really wants to end the series. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. By the way, uh, Dark Claw, thank you for the five dollars. Gagey better not fumble these next, these next chapters. Oh, dude, Knockwood. I'm yeah, worried knock about wood. that because like the trajectory of like the rest of this conflict with Yuji and whoever comes in to help him. That is crucial for like the, laying the groundwork for the rest of the series, dude. Yeah, if, if... I, 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 and I honestly, I don't know what could happen to be honest, because it's like, okay, he's getting weakened, right? So to what extent can he weaken him, right? And that's um, a, that's but... a huge thing. And I and I had like this one, I don't know if it's a fear or like expectation. I'll I'll, pu- I'll present it to you, and you tell me negative or positive, right? Mm-hmm. If the person that comes or people, I should say, is uh. Uh, hakari's group with kashimo yeah i my worry the reason i think it's going to be negative is if kashimo sees sukuna he's going for it he doesn't care yeah. if sukuna's weakened he doesn't care that he's like in the wrong body air quotes like like mm-hmm. this is this is sukuna right he's not gonna waste his chances way to 400 years i uh-huh. don't want to see kashimo versus sukuna while sukuna's like this because like i'll feel like that's cheapened right i want to see yeah. like sukuna and kashimo go at it right i want Listen, to, yeah bro. Uh, we were we were just having this discussion in the opposite direction i was like bro i don't think i want to see kashimo fight yeah uh, like, like the the making me version of sukuna. yeah like, i i don't want this is the, what right, i wanted yeah, to see I, 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 I wanted to see exactly Yuki yeah sukuna straight up like <laughs> i want to see it right but i want to see it like under like the the ideal conditions you know what i mean yeah 
Yeah, and, and I I don't know. It, it's going to be tough. I feel like, but the thing is, I don't I don't imagine that. Con- I don't know. I I also didn't imagine Yuji would be getting up. So like, I I'm clearly have a uh, zero aptitude for predicting this shit. But I don't know. I really don't know. I somebody said that Yuji's going to get bodied, and or actually Dex, thank you for the five. Yeah. I hope we can see Yuta versus Yugen after Yuji gets cooked. I feel like after this display, Yuji's not going to get like there is no cooking. Just dude. packed up. Like, he's just not getting packed up like that. Like, yeah. Listen, him being stronger than Tsukuna, it's a bit, it's probably not the case. But, like, I feel like you can't show him having that resolve and that ability and then in the next chapter have him lose. Like, especially have him lose, like, drastically. That would be crazy. And y- let's be let's be real here, right? Like, like I don't, I think ha- Kashimo using his, like, sacred one and done technique against this version of Tsukuna. And if we're being real, failing because you know sukuna still has to be there mm-hmm. i i i just, just a teeny bit of a letdown but you know i i believe in gege you know i doubted him once and i couldn't wait, do that again wait what 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 is the better letdown uh if kashimo uses his one and done technique only to like oh. not kill sukuna or to lose uh and it's like a weak in sukuna right like, like that's what i mean by under what, like you think you'd be a letdown i i'd fall listen if he does mega me in kashimo like that i genuinely fall into a depression i'm, I'm gonna be so real um you get it bro I, I, yes yes that's why you know i'm knocking right i, I don't want to I, I like listen i beat listen if he's weakened beat the brakes off of him bro please please yeah but don't use your like you know don't use that you know you use you just just you know give, give him the give him the same treatment give him the same treatment you gave hakari that's all i'm gonna say yeah uh, um listen two two things right two things mm-hmm. for th- can we talk okay I actually wanted to bring this up first. Can we talk about the TCB versus Viz translation yeah. of then let's see if you can chew True up me my, and my, my suffering. suffering, right? Bro, the TCB and and Viz Viz let's let's see what Viz said. Right? I think this is something about it. like uh misery and like Yeah. You should be the one to try, try to try, you should be the one trying to stifle, stifle this, this misery. misery. And also I, I don't know, I, for Sukuna's line where he's like Counting on counting on your path means destruction. Yet you wish to be happy for as long as possible. You should spend your life stifling your misery. Yeah. It doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't. It doesn't hit like that. Yeah. Uh, it, it's, I feel like. Yeah. It, it, it yeah. didn't land for me. Yeah. Um. I. Like. Definitely. Your suffering is natural. You people are meant to be chewed up. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. I. I and also, that's interesting to think about when you think about, like, Sukin as a uh, hobby being eating. I feel like that's that's probably something there. Yeah. Um, like, the, the specific verbiage of using, like, chewed up rather than, like, stomped on or blah, 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 blah. Um, I gotta ask, do you think this is, like, is this the confirmation of Sukuna's motivations? Because um, I, I noticed when uh, Yuji just kind of broke and just asked him why he was a dick, uh, mm-hmm. Sukuna's response was almost... It almost seemed like Gege answering the question of, like, what is Sukuna's deal? Like, why is he like this? Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if I... I don't know if I am unsatisfied, but I'm not... I want more, if that makes sense, yeah. right? Like, right direction? Like, the I hope the path doesn't end here. Mm-hmm. Uh, what about yeah. you? Like, what do you think? If this is Sukuna's, um, like, you know, motivation reveal. So, I want to... First of all, I want to address this, because I might go in a little spiel, right? Okay. So I want to I want to address the the super chat real quick. Lucky, oh. thank you for the five dollars. Wanted to put my two cents in. Yuji's expression and just the look in his eyes was so damn scary, but cool at the same time. Man is a little insane now. Always has been. Uh, yeah. By the way, oh, so we missed caliber uh, X fours. Uh, so I wanted to say uh, thank you for the five there. Yuji saying sorry, making me then oh. boxing super <laughs> hilarious. Dude, it really is. Yeah. Um. But so to to answer the question, this is um. Okay, this was interesting, right? And I, 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 I like looked at this and had like a, a little eyebrow raise. I didn't dislike it at all, actually. I thought it was perfectly fine, and it, and it makes sense within because we have we already have confirmation of the like he doesn't care whether anyone lives or dies, blah blah blah. Like he clearly has no sort of um like care for other beings weaker than him, right? Whatever, whatever, right? That's that's been obvious. Um, the specific thing of like uh your suffering is natural you people are meant to be chewed up like blah 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 like how can you guys say that you want to be happy i thought it was just a very interesting thing to me it doesn't it doesn't come off as like an ideology or like a um sort of a a particular motivation it seems like more of a way of life 
right yeah. it's like it's like for example okay. if you if, if if like and and this isn't this is to me i feel like it isn't a specific motivation for why sukuno is the way that he is it is just this is this isn't saying this is why he's like this it's this is his way of life so like for example if you i don't know you see somebody like somebody drop something right mm. and you pick it up for them just to be nice there's no overarching ideological reason that you do it right you don't have some like sort of like internal intentional like moral like explanation for what you did you did it because it's a nice thing and like you think doing nice things is like just the way you should live right right it didn't it didn't take too much from you it didn't blah 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 it is just your state of being right you wake right. up you eat food you drink water and like you know sometimes you you do the occasional nice thing for people you, that's not your philosophy that's that's your day-to-day -day. right to me this comes off as like that for sukuna there's no there's no like greater thought in it than like do you do you have a justification for why you step on bugs <laughs> do you have like a more do you have a moral quandary for like why you ate a burger like some people do don't get me wrong right for the for the burger thing especially but even people that are like very like like vegans or vegetarians right whatever to go like to the most uh moral extreme with that do, do all of you people all you people that's crazy <laughs> does, <laughs> do, uh, does everybody that holds that belief right you guys question like genuinely question why you stepped on an ant or like do you have like do you have a moral problem with it do you do you ask yourself why that happens no you know no you don't right like, and, and, and i think why? that's why gk probably used the imagery of that worm uh, yeah where sukuna just kind of sees something he's completely indifferent to mm. but i don't know there's the there is a hint of malice a hint what am i saying it's it's a it's a obvious statement really of malice mm -hmm. within sukuna's actions that i think to me feels uh not only intentional but it, it, it's almost as though it, it's not just that sukuna wants to necessarily kill or, or whatever but it's that he wants to do it in a way that is the most sadistic way possible right it's not about just you know harming it's about creating the worst experience overall mm. yeah um i mm, i kind of get that and i think I Damn, think crazy that you just said it was like you for real. I don't know, that's crazy. Um, <laughs> I mean, I I kind of I, I I get what you mean there, where it's like a sort of intentional thing. I think it's like a I think life is boring for Sukuna. The mm. way to do that, like the enjoyment comes from that, and he feels he feels no problem with doing it because he doesn't look at these beings as people that stand on even footing with him in terms of like existence. Um, what I caught, um, I think, or rather, what caught my attention the most between their exchange about this was uh, uh, Yuji referring to Sukuna in the same way as like Mahito, uh, in that oh, they're both curses. And all those things. He says like, that. That was a cool callback. That yeah, was a cool yeah. callback to chapter twenty-seven. I feel like that shit was or twenty-six or whatever, because he refers to Sukuna and Mahito as that like yeah, when yeah. June Page dies and yeah, they're both laughing. Like, that's always something that's kind is. of like uh, that I noticed that that I was wondered about because like Sukuna wasn't always a curse, right? So I, mm -hmm. I'm curious, like, if it's similar to a Naya situation where when he not got like, literal, I don't think. Yeah, like where he got like you know, quote, reincarnated, um, mm -hmm. as as a curse if it got worse or if or if it was like always like this, right? And if so, right, if he was just doing this as a human, what's what's his deal, right? I, I think I, I think I mentioned this on last stream or the stream before this. I, I basically said like. Like what's 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 up with Sukuna? Like 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 what, what's uh we we gotta know more about him. We got we gotta see what he's all about. What he you know wants because you can't the argument that like say he wants uh you know he sees weaker beings and he wants to like, kill them all. It would almost imply that like a stronger being he wouldn't. Um, which to me right that's that's a crazy twist right. If he saw Gojo mm -hmm. and he was like yeah no this guy he's just so cool I gotta survive but like he just he just didn't have that reaction to Gojo. He literally said I'm gonna start with you. So like yeah. Well, the I, yeah. I, I think the idea would be he doesn't see Gojo as his equal either. True, but that, he didn't that's how I but would he didn't mention that. Gojo as like some kind of threshold to Jogo on his deathbed. He did. He did. He he mentioned and he mentioned Gojo as being like the strongest. Like he's like, why aren't you the leader? Blah blah blah. But keep in mind, we saw how he toyed with the Jogo and he considered him strong, right? Yeah. So I think Sukuna makes a like a he makes note of a difference between somebody being very strong and somebody being him. You know, does that make sense? I, I don't know if that it. does. Yeah, no, I, um, I, I think that makes sense. But I, I would like to see a little bit more uh, elaboration and or nuance on that. For sure. Uh, also, 
Got against uh, super tracks. Lucky. It's hard to say Zukuna killed someone when he never really thought they were one to begin with. True. Yeah, he never really considers them hard. alive. Yeah, yeah that, that is crazy hard. Yeah, he never thought that they were alive to begin with. He doesn't care about them. Um, mm -hmm. Spit. Also, Lamillion, thank you for the first super chat. Congratulations. Because, <laughs> you know, you. Uh, YouTube uh, on the chat side says, celebrate the first super chat from X, uh, Y, and Z. And they have this little uh -huh. balloon thing. And I just, like, I've been uh -huh. wanting to ha say that joke, and I just keep forgetting to. So thank you, uh -huh. Lamillion, for letting me exercise that demon. Um, uh -huh. UG really went against one of the strongest characters in the series with the craziest curse technique and said, I got these hands, though. Yes, bro. <laughs> that <Yep>. is Sukuna. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I, that is Yuji. That is that is Yuji's entire thing. Um, mm -hmm. Caliber X4. Uh, thank you for the two. Honestly, if Sukuna was just an evil motherfucker, I'd be okay. Yeah, no, no. I, he obviously is, right? I'm just saying, mm -hmm. like, uh, he can be simple. Uh, his motivations can be simple, but they can be nuanced, if that makes sense. Yeah. For sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, dude. Okay, so another thing that I, I made mention of in the video, and I mm -hmm. also wanted to talk to you about, what type of person do you have to be for Sukuna to call you twisted or weird? Oh yeah, because like, he he says in, in the, from back then. Oh yeah, he says Yuji from back then, and in the TCB he says Kenjaku sure is twisted, and then in the Viz he says Kenjaku does the grossest things. Like, huh? I mean, if can can I just okay? Let let me give you the Occam's Razor uh uh, uh theory that I have, which is like simplest mm -hmm. answer uh, explanation is usually the right one. And let me give you mm -hmm. my like tinfoil hat one. So I'll start with the Occam's Razor one. Mm -hmm. Sukuna could just be referring to Kajaku getting down and dirty with Yuji's dad. <laughs> it could, could be. It it could just be like that simple, right? Mm -hmm. Where he's like, damn, the... Kajaku's really about it for real. I'd never do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay the the reason i think that one is is weird particularly is be particularly i don't know why i said it like that is because sukuna should have access to yuji's memories and yuji's already like that should be some something sukuna already is like aware of and factors in but he he acknowledges here like when he's like where's this strength coming from after getting attacked some more he's like oh i get it he's from that time and then he's like or he's from back then or whatever Right, and after kicking him in the face, he seems to have come to the conclusion that like UG being from some specific point in time or whatever, like Kenjaku did something that it could. I don't know. I don't know. It's a uh, like I said. I guess we'll see. Um, from that time is uh, fuck you, so you can, uh, yeah, super I, I, ambiguous for no reason, but yeah. whatever. Uh, so if you, you want my it... like tinfoil hat mm -hmm. explanation, right? Um, mm -hmm. I'd say like UG uh, is some kind of. Uh, I mean, what am I saying? He's just a science experiment, right? Um, mm -hmm. And the origin of his... Fuck, man. I'm sorry. I just, like, zoned in on chat for a single second, saw that word. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Uh, mm -hmm. d the Dara Johnson chat. Oh, dude. <laughs> 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 okay, okay, sorry. Can just see is yeah, crazy. That is just crazy. Yeah. Um, I... Um, dude, all I'm saying is Sukuna would, would say some shit like that to Kenjaku or about Kenjaku, not me. Um, mm -hmm. It's like in character for him to, to be that like cheeky. Huh. <laughs> I wish I chose a different word. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Uh, I was thinking, I was like, yes, yes, yes. Hey, yeah. you, you, uh, you funny I, for that I one. I overcommitted to cheeky. That was my bad. That was my bad, guys. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, uh, maybe Yuji some kind of uh, the origin of his biology is, you know, more twisted than his brothers. Because I remember with the death paintings, it was like I don't know if it, I can recount their origin story and still keep this podcast monetized. I just like mm. caught myself. I yeah. was like, "Yeah, we yeah, all know yeah. it." They, right? We 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 know yeah. how they we know how they came about, right? And and for ahead. for for that to be like for Kenjaku for Yuji to be like Kenjaku's masterpiece in a way, you'd mm -hmm. almost have to feel like he did something arguably more heinous. Uh, yeah, which I I can't even imagine. Like like there's no way if Gay. It is a blessing almost that Gege is like capped by having to write shonen manga because I would not be able to, to like like letting this man off the leash into like senin territory. Mm. Dude, that that plastic won't be enough to seal that book. They're gonna have to keep it under uh -huh. lock and key. You're gonna have to talk to a human being to unlock and buy the book. <laughs> yeah. Um. So now, okay. Well, uh, let's see, Renzo. I, I not gonna lie. I've been thinking about why didn't Kadaka just hijack Yuji's 
uh, dad's body instead. Well, the thing is, if he was doing some twisted stuff to Yuji, um, we, well, okay, here's the thing, right? The reason I think, well, no, you can't get into that without being demonetized. Yep. Never mind. Um, uh. <laughs> I just think it specifically requires, it specifically requires the mother to be okay with the things that are happening, which is just easier to control if Kenjaku is the mother, yeah. I think. I think and that's how it goes. If we're being honest, uh, I think there might be something special about uh, Yuji's father. Uh, mm. And maybe, because, uh, okay, I'm curious. Do you think what Yuji is or, like, his makeup is, like, Yuji's father is, like, an important component or he was just, like, a donor and Kenjaku did, like, most of, if not all of the heavy lifting? You know, but, like, the the literal normal way. Lifting. Yeah, and, like, the heavy scientist lifting. way um jesus no i think i know because because jin uh yuji's grandfather knows that something's up and i have a feeling that like there's some sort of like spiritual awareness in a sense like like kind of like maybe you're not a fucking sorcerer right with a crazy technique or something but you're closer to being like um like or and chad pre pre their like awakening in bleach sort of thing where like you are spiritually in the context of the series special maybe without oh, like, having you like your ability friends? yeah yeah yeah. yeah okay. like he's a bit like without your abilities being um like honed or or utilized in any particular way now this is something interesting and it once again you could take the simple meaning as like sukuna is simply referring to someone as inferior to them but we do see in 106 right that Sukuna, like after after Troso beats the like the the piss out of Yuji, <laughs> he's like to think you'd lose to such an inferior opponent, and maybe maybe it's just me, but I feel like I feel like maybe this chapter contextualizes this as like inferior, like but inferior like biologically almost like you are quite literally built different than Choso. Like, not inferior to me, but you should be stronger than this, right? Like, Kenjaku made you stronger than this, almost. You know what I mean? Does that make mm -hmm. sense? Like, when, when Sukuna is, like, to think you'd lose to an inferior opponent, it's like, dude, Chosa was not in your pay grade, like, when you, when you really, when you really cook. Like, what, what is it, what is this, what is this getting your ass beat by, like, uh, by this dude? Like, blood manipulation? You're getting cooked by blood manipulation? <laughs> like, come on, bro. Like, like, can we, can we be honest? Can we be honest? Um... It's like, it, I don't know. come on, yeah. dude, you're embarrassing me. Like, right, dude, come, like, bro, I, listen, you're the vessel for me. Own up, like, cooks. I don't know. <laughs> I, that's what I think about it. Uh, the Shnaz, um, thank you for the five. Sukuna literally ate through Angel and still calls Kenjaku gross. <laughs> uh, yeah. Either that, why do you guys do this? Either that can just see doing something wild or Sukuna just be a next level hater. Like I said, bro, it, mm. both are both are equally plausible for Sukuna. Like, like straight mm. up, it can be that simple, and it could be that complicated. But they they are both in character for Sukuna. Which, by the way, uh, brings me to like, what do you think it is, right? Like, like what what do you think is the deal with with what Sukuna said? What is your? Do you have an Occam's Razor tinfoil hat thing, or do you just have like one like unified? Uh, one? I mean, I have a like a direction. I think there's some aspect of Yuji that is probably maybe besides Kenjaku. That exists at some point in the Heian period, um, and like there is something that Kenjaku may have carried over from vessel to vessel for the sake of Yuji, um, like for the express purpose of making Yuji able to be not just a vessel but like a cage for Sukun in a particular way, and giving him giving okay here's 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 where it gets a little bit more right. You're giving him um, power that exceeds that of like uh, let's say like uh and complete heavenly restriction makis but you're also giving him the capacity for cursed energy in a way that like maki didn't True. um so it seems to be that he's like playing both sides of the field right like okay i want to you know i want to refine cursed energy and i want to master it um but i know that cursed energy alone is like not the end all be all right like optimizing cursed energy is one is is part of it but like also having the physical ability is also another part and maybe he's he's come across either other heavenly restrictions um or was aware of toji's existence and was like accounting for the fact that like physically imposing fighters that can use cursed energy is the perfect blend of like your average sorcerer and like outliers maybe like toji or like maki would end up being the and maybe something like that existed in the hand period or Kenjaku being like like ahead of the curve 
it, let's say nothing like Toji existed back then, he could have been like trying to create something like that. You know what I mean? A blend between like sorcery and like biological strength. Has I guess. he ever has Kenjaku ever expressed interest in Heavenly Restriction? Like I don't I don't think he's ever cared about or thought about Maki, and I don't think he, not Maki. Yeah. But in an interview, Gege says that. Um, Kenjaku would have attempted to take over Toji's body instead of Geto's. No, he, no, um, no. D didn't he say that there he, were, says, he just couldn't because he, he was well, like, yeah, he, he, he no, was rolling he the says, dice, he, right? He said, yeah, he says that he could not because of that, like, it, in spite of expressing interest. Yeah, it was like, like oh, it's, it's, what was stronger, Kenjaku's body hopping technique or Toji's body? And I, I know where I'm putting my money. <laughs> yeah, basically, he was like, I, I he's like, regardless of, to, like, because Toji would basically just be a useful vessel for him. And he's like, okay, well, I can't fucking do that. Or, or not that he can't necessarily, but it's a it's a gamble to, that could yeah. potentially that could potentially end a thousand years of planning. So he's yeah. like, yeah, fuck that. It, it, like um, too too much loss, not enough win. Uh, uh, hmm. Like you can say, oh yeah, Kenjaku, if if he managed to you know win that kind of uh, battle, he would be in Toji's hmm. body. But like I don't know, Kenjaku seems like a person who's like better suited to fight with curse techniques. And mm. I'll be honest, like, Ghetto's body fits him like a glove, dude. I mean, Ghetto's body uh, probably fits any relatively intelligent person like a I know, glove. Like, Ghetto is just, yeah. like, Ghetto's just, Ghetto's just like a fucking, like, like I feel like because... You mean a, the special people... grade body is good? What? Uh, yeah, yeah, who would have thought? Who would have thought? But, like, I feel like, okay, no, nah, not very. I feel like more so, I don't know, man. Like, I'll say this. <sighs> I wouldn't have wanted to body swap into Yuki instead of Geto. That's what I'll say. That's what I'll say. I'll, I'll put it like that. Listen. One person has the clearly better technique in my mind. Uh, I know. I well, he beat her with Geto's body. Like, let's. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> uh, honestly, I'd say if if we had to choose between all the special grades, well, he Gojo obviously. No, or... no, no. I mean, he le it, like us following Gage's logic, where he's like, where he kind of like laughed. I remember that reading that, where he was like, you can't do Gojo's body. We stupid. He's. <laughs> The Kinshaka wasn't gonna pull that off, so mm. the, leaving the other three special grades is like plausible. I'm picking Yuta. Yeah, like honestly. Yeah. What? Let me see. Uh, wait, when no, he... no, Absolutely. he couldn't. No, no that wouldn't. Have, no. That would have been worse. Yeah, Rika, Rika, Rika would have had problems. She would have obje uh, objected. Yeah. And yeah, and the thing is, by the time, like the in the time frame he took Geto's body, Yuta was already like weakened and had the conditions and shit. Yeah. So like. He wouldn't. He would have never had access to like a fully. Yeah. I personally would have picked Ghetto. Like, yeah. You have. You have like the only person that I, to me has like more variety, or at least has the potential for more variety, is Yuta. Like nobody else yeah. does have that. Um, but Ghetto terms, had yeah. fucking but four thousand curse spirits. Bro. And like, not can... only that, but like Kenjaku's uh, knowledge, experience, you know, life, as he puts it, dude, mm -hmm. perfect vessel. Like if we're talking about perfect vessels, Ghetto's like a perfect vessel for Kenjaku. Like that's that's mm. just straight up like why yeah. couldn't why couldn't he pass that shit on to Yuji, dude? I would have loved to see Yuji pull off dismantle and cleave off rip. <laughs> yeah. Um mm. Yeah, all By of the way, all the theorizing of what Yuji is, one of us has to be right. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, so somebody gotta be correct. Alright, guys. Putting theories aside for a bit, let's get into meathead territory. Alright? It's meathead okay. time. Alright? So, so mm. you know, I need you to take that brain out, all right? Put it somewhere else for later, all right? All right, but I admit, I haven't been using it this entire podcast already. <laughs> all right. Assuming this is a buff for Yuji, right? Just taking it at face value. Uh huh. Where are we scaling mm. Yuji now? Now, before you answer, I, I, there is one, there is, there's a, there's a condition upon like you giving your answer, and that is you have to contextualize what you're comparing him to and how those people compare in like the broader universe, right? So if you were to see something like he is stronger than Jackpot Hakari, say, and then Jackpot Hakari to me scales roughly to blank to like make mm -hmm. your thing, right? So that's mm -hmm. that that go. Where let me no let me hear yours first because I I. UG is in an ambiguous place for me, but I'm curious what your what your okay. thinking is. Assuming this mine. is a straight up buff and not like a pure product of Megami weakening Sukuna too much. Mm -hmm. This is right under uh, uh, Yuta in base. In base, mm -hmm. in base, right? Not quite uh, uh, Maki uh, and Heavenly Restriction level, because I. All right, you ready mm -hmm. for the you ready for the take? Mm -hmm. Maki, as she is right now, and Toji by extension, combined with the sword, the sword is like a part of this, is is uh, equal to 
is equal to phys like just abilities wise just you mm -hmm. know how i mean like fighting wise equal to yuta with the five minute timer mm -hmm. no sorry is equal to hikari jackpot and they are both slightly weaker than yuta with a five minute timer wait 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 okay run that last part back by me okay so I say y Yuji is right below Maki and uh, Jackpot Hokari, who I have as relative, and above them is uh, Yuta with the five minute timer as like the peak, right? Okay. And okay. yeah, so so he's like third rate. Okay. Okay. Compared I mean, to I like would guess... being fifth rate. Yeah, I would guess physically, like once again, just pure speculation, um, portrayal. Like when you look at like actual feats and context, we literally just don't know. Um, but no, speculation, whatever. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just giving the, the prefacing before uh -huh. I say my shit, right? Mm -hmm. I think he's probably scaling like around where Maki was before her second awakening. Like, I would say, like, I would say the wow. biggest difference. I would say the biggest difference between them is probably a perception and awareness buff, like that Maki now has. Mm -hmm. But physically, they should probably be pretty close yeah because i um, i don't want to disparage maki's buff because you know not only with uh, being able to cut souls but her perception going off the charts is still like a crazy buff in the grand scheme of things so uh i, I think that's why i have her do you have a problem with me comparing maki to jackpot hakari fighting wise uh no i mean i no i will uh i'll say i have someone that i think is a a clearer so give me uh, yours superior but give me yours um uh, i want to hear your breakdown uh well like just physically is that what you're talking yeah, yeah um, like, like give me your hierarchy like the way i gave you mine uh let's see jackpot hikari probably below this ug i'm just guessing insane um this ug um below current maki and current maki before below yuta so wait why'd you go bottom up can you go uh no. Isn't that how you always do it? You you like if you're doing like a list, you start like weakish. Yeah, strongest. yeah. That, that took me a second. Okay, r run it back for me, just one more time. Okay, Hikari, Yuji, Maki, Yuta is my guess. Jackpot Hikari is the bottom. Correct. Why? Why not? So you're telling me, uh, what? Just so I understand this correctly. You pin mm -hmm. Maki up against Kashimo right now. Kashimo's mm -hmm. just getting blasted, like like easy. There's there's different context. Maki doesn't have reverse curse technique that can heal her from getting a lightning bolt through her. Yeah, stomach. like like it's the whole package, dude. Well, you I literally asked you if we're talking physically, and then you said yes. I I I because my metric was like I said fighting threat right like that that's how i meant like, it yeah like yes hikari can last long but like what i'm like once again i don't have any context for like how how long this yuji can fight or whatever so when i say like i mean one i'd still put maki over hikari like even when counting for all that because i think maki has a way to deal with hikari in a way that kashimo did not um but like i'm saying that like when you're comparing their physical stats which is all i'm looking at right um at least for this specific context i think that like Hikari is probably the lowest. Um, Yuji is probably above that. Maki's above that. And then maybe I wouldn't I wouldn't be too mad if somebody said Maki over Yuta purely physically. I think that's fine. But Yuta um, with the five minute buff? Because like that's that's a yeah. different animal right there. I mean, yeah, Yuta with the five minute buff. Like though those like I, I lean towards Yuta. Like I just think Yuta is probably like superior when you're looking at it all. But I'm not like I, it's not crazy to think Maki above. That's not really a hard stance, but I do think Yuji's weaker than both um, Hakari, or not weaker than Hakari, weaker than Maki and Yuta, but I don't know if I'd necessarily go that, that for Hikari. Um, like, I'd say if they were just having a punch out, like, I don't, I think for 4 minutes and 11 seconds, Yuji would probably be the one with the advantage. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Uh, man, I, I really want Gege to confirm what kind of uh, power-up this is for Yuji, um, or if mm -hmm. maybe this was, like, Oh wait, this might be vindication for me. Do you do you remember how I keep how I kept saying we've never gotten a chance to see like true post Shibuya UG fight like for real? Uh, like it just never happened since uh, we ended that that part of the arc where uh, since then he's only fought like bums and a really like a different kind of fight with uh, Higuruma. 
right? Like, sure, with, yeah. like I'm talking cursed energy amp, like the whole thing post Mahito, right? Never had a true fight. So, mm-hmm. different, you know, approach to this. Maybe this was what Yuji was able to come out with after that confrontation with Mahito, right? Maybe he just never, he didn't have a chance or a good enough enemy to, like, you know, exert the, the force on. Because, like, what? Higuruma, you know, no no cursed energy. Uh, and with, what, he's going to he's gonna use it against, like, the, the soldiers? Like, oh yeah, he's going to go... <laughs> I'll say this. Wall, dude. Yuji injured himself hitting fucking Haibara. Or not Haibara, fucking Haba. I don't, helicopter I, don't, dude, I, I, dude. I don't know if I'd call that an injury. Bro literally bruised himself. I, come on, dude. What and you, what and you I'll doing? just... Come on. Wait, 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 the, the definition of injury is changing? No, no, it's not that. It's just Yuji's not not opposed to getting injured, right? Like, like his whole thing is, like, he's a tank, so he can handle way more punishment, right? Sure, right? Yeah. I'm just saying that, like, I don't think a Yuji that is not cut in half by this shit is, like, fucking the same Yuji. Like, I think it's very... And also, Sukuna should have, like, literally a pinpoint gauge of Yuji's abilities <laughs> considering he's in his monster. body. Dude, that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> But I don't know. The Sorry, fact yeah. that the person who literally had access to all of the same information that Yuji did was surprised at this strength leads me to believing that Yuji is significantly more powerful than he ever was. Eh. That's just my idea. Uh, like, I don't, I don't, I don't I know. I think like, next chapter I don't see will how... definitely be the mark to see, like, how much Yuji's evolved. Like, like actually. Mm-hmm. Um, or, if we're being, if Gege wants to, like, tease us, which, you know, mm-hmm. let's be real. Oh, wait, isn't it Gege's birthday or something? Uh, that's... The the chapter dropped on Kiki's birthday, yeah. Oh, that's that's cool. Um, but yeah, he he can make the art. He can say it's also Megami weakening Sukuna by X percentage or something, and that's what's giving Yuji a fighting chance. So it could be either a uh, Yuji buff or a Sukuna nerf as the explanation. I mean, it's it is a well. Here's the thing: it's both, right? It, Yuji yes, is confirmed yes. to get stronger. I just think it's a. I think it's a. Both of those things are contributing to the outcome we're seeing. Like if yeah. Yuji just got this strong, he would still probably lose to Sukuna without landing a punch. Um, and if Sukuna, like, was only getting nerfed and you didn't get any stronger, Sukuna would probably still be dogging on. Like, I think it's a, it's a happy, it's a happy medium of the two. Um, okay. Uh, yeah. So, uh, I guess we'll see you next week. Uh, thank you guys for, for coming out to the Meathead Power Hour. We're gonna put our brains back for one, for one, uh, uh second. And I think... Mm. Saying we're gonna put our brains back and stumbling on that line was not a great combination. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't like that. Uh, hello, yeah. thank you for the two. I am so Fupa. sorry. Uh, thank Fupa you so much. Yuta Dude, I read, over... I read it as Fupa. I was like, oh my yeah, god. Yeah, bro. What are you... Yeah, Dude, whatever. Okay. Full power Yuta <laughs> over Jackpot Hikari. Jackpot Hikari over Maki is crazy. Um, uh, over, over... Perfect Preparation uh, Perfect Maki. Preparation Maki over Yuji. Uh, I'm not like, mad at it because Hikari is number two. Based. I'm mad at it. Hikari <laughs> over Maki is insanity, but... I will say that. Are you an Aoya fan? Shouldn't you be praising him? <laughs> Aren't I a Who fan? Nothing. What do you say? <sighs> Anyways, um, all I'm saying is, like, I I'm not going to like cape for UG being anywhere on this list. Like, really, like I gave my speculation, but we literally have no comparison. We don't know how strong this UG is, like, in comparison to anybody else. So, I don't really, I, outside of my own personal opinion, I don't think that there is a, a like a more objective way to scale him like there is for maki like there's for akari like there's for yuts or whatever so I'll, I'll i'll let the i'll let the ug uh scaling rock for now until we get more solid and like comparison shit uh i guess that being said uh i guess theories for next chapter specifically not even like how the rest of the story goes but uh to me there's like one of a few outcomes one is somebody interfe- interferes. I-, I think I said this already, right? But like somebody comes in as like a hail mary for Yuji to like hang on to life. That's that's mm. one, right? Whether it be like a different Cullen Games player, a different student, whoever, right? Enemy or ally. Hell, it could even be Kenjaku, right? Mm. Number two uh, could be Angel coming in, f- coming in for a a hail mary. Dear God. Yeah. <laughs> this, this, this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know. Get this uh, guy out of here. And number three, weirdly the most unlikely. Not not even weirdly, it's just like you 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 you'd think like Gege was like teasing us with this chapter, but like it's the it's the least it's the least likely, which is like Yuji just wins. 
Megumi, Megumi like regains consciousness and he's like, whoa, that was close, eh, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that almost got really bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a good thing, you know, I'm, I can also like, like Sukun is asleep right now. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so before we yeah, get into oh. yours, yeah, let's read these super chats. Mm. Ordable Post, thank you for the five uh, pounds. Next chapter, I need to see UG uh, getting his pack back from... <laughs> sorry, his pack back from when you Sukuna set up in Chain Binding Vow. He needs to throw hands with the best of them. Man, I struggled to read that. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, yeah bro, bro, bro was like, I uh, bro struggled in popcorn yeah. reading. I'm sick. Uh, Anyways, wow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a th thank you for the seven dollars. I think a UG is around base Yuta level, honestly, but that's only if Megami wasn't debuffing Sukuna that much. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Base, base, base Yuta is still uh, crazy. Yeah, like base Yuta base trying, Yuta. like like when he's like when base Yuta trying, like that's a different that's a different conversation. Um. I'll say this. I think this is a good way to phrase it. Hmm. If Rika were like the Rika that grabbed Yuji in their fight were to grab Yuji now, I think Yuji's breaking free. Is that is that is that a, is that a fair thing to say? Like I feel like I feel like Rika ain't just fucking completely immobilizing Yuji by giving him a hug. Maybe maybe that's what I'll say. That's just a guess, but I feel like I feel like whether or not you think he fucking wins against Yuta, whatever. But I feel like he's He's in a level of strength difference where Sukuna is confused, and I feel like that speaks volumes to the difference from point A to point B. Um, Interesting. Damn. Uh, Melody Main, thank you for the seven dollars. Yeah, you do chapter reviews kind of like your last video. I really enjoy you, Creams No Up, and Fake Leaves JJK Riku coverages. Um, yeah, it's probably gonna be something I do. I don't know if I'll do it every week. I'll probably do it for like when I have more like analytical input. Like so, for Yuji, it just happened to align with the fact that this has been a development we have been wanting for a while and i had a lot of thoughts on it so yeah probably um i may do like maybe not necessarily maybe some chapter related stuff um but yeah probably in the future you guys can expect that uh so um, jaden 3011 thank you for the five we could have a really good nobra and the power trio back together post shibuya moment right right about now okay br there's a fourth option yeah, Nobara, could Nobara come back. comes back. <laughs> I think I think somebody was mentioning that like the next chapter blurb or whatever in the like actual magazine was like Yuji's gonna be helped by some friends or something, but that could fucking mean anything. Like, it, it could be like, pandas yeah. coming. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, like, remember when remember when that eyeball popped into frame and we were like, yeah, make it he's gonna be get, getting help from friends. It was fucking Takaba. It was like it was a new character. Yeah. Uh... Um. So yeah, I mean, like uh yeah i mean I, I i one of the things that i think is possible is like maybe like half of the chapter being focused on like Meg megumi and sukun is like internal thing like not necessarily them actually fighting but us getting an explanation as to how megumi is able to do what he's doing and sukun being like fuck off like what do you, stop <laughs> i want to fight like leave me alone and then we maybe come back halfway through the chapter and we're like okay we continue where we left off let me at him. let me at him <laughs> Uh, thank you, Real Legend, for the five. Um, think Sukuna gonna either win knocking Yuji out, leave because of Megumi stopping him, then we gonna get to see him fight other sorcerers. Listen, I'm not saying I wouldn't like that. I would like to see Yuji, you know, stand his ground a little bit uh, longer. But mm. if Sukuna runs the gauntlet with other fighters in Megumi's body and they're not named Kashimo or Maki or Yuta, that's gonna be fun. Yeah, I'm interested in, in <laughs> fucking Yorozu, man. Um, oh, oh, what, what, yeah. is, what is this, dude? Wait, oh just my god! Dipped. I was like, what, Listen, are you, "What are you? What are you doing?" I know. Look, the funniest—I say funniest—the funniest thing Sukuna could do right now, unironically, to punish Megumi, <laughs> go right after Yorozu, switch to Megumi, just so he can see his sister die. Yeah, all right, relax, dude. Um, honestly, that's what I do if I was Sukuna. Like, just hey, I don't, hey. I, I don't. I don't think Sukuna would run that risk because he's probably not coming back out if he does that. Like, if he gives <laughs> Megumi control, it's probably going to be a situation where, like, oh, fuck, you know? I, I, I just I just gave him the wheel, okay? Well, until he, until he, like, gets fucking bodied or, like, mentally breaks again, I guess, we're going to have to fucking gonna have to deal with that shit. Um, guys, I, that is in character for Sukuna. See, you guys get the joke. It would be hilarious, dude. <laughs> listen, I think it I Listen... Don't get me wrong. I think Sukuna is that sadistic and twisted. I just don't think he can afford to do that. I, it's not necessarily giving Megumi control. It's more just like seeing it with his own eyes and then switching back. 
Because mm. it could be, like, similar to uh, Yoru and Asa from Chainsaw Man. Like, that kind of relationship. Yeah. He he did the same thing to Yuji and Shibuya. The, that, that's what I'm getting at, right? Like, if he does that... Like, I'll put it like this, right? Once Sukuna switched, he could not switch back if he wanted to. You know what I mean? Unless he used, like, yeah, a chain. Yeah, but it wasn't really switched. It was more, like, forcefully. Like, because of Jogo. Uh, wait, what? Jogo? Because he force well, fed Yuji the fingers. No, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about when Sukuna shows Yuji all the all the carnage. Oh in, yeah. In, uh, in Shibuya, and I'm just saying, like after that happened, Sukuna could not take. Like if Sukuna said, "I want back control right uh, now," Yuji's he couldn't like, do so without yeah. chain. But Yuji's like, like a you. perfect cage, right? We don't know how it would work for like a regular regular vessel. I mean, he referred Sukuna. I, I keep telling you this, but Sukuna refers to Megumi as a cage as well. No, he's um, worried about uh, Megumi becoming a cage right he I, i'll literally just okay what i mean i can i don't know if, I, if you want me to read it out he just says that like the reason he was so cautious is because megami could be a cage as well it posed a problem if he turned out to be a cage just like that brat like that's just what he said yeah, that's yeah, why he yeah, lies he, in wave yeah he was he was like running the, the 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 gamble with it right but like i i think that was the confirmation that there is something distinct about yuji and megami right because like yuji is meant to be a cage right he's meant to suppress sukuna uh, mm -hmm. and for Megami, he could just, like, I, we got into this last week, dude. Or, sorry, uh, not like last week, the week before that, where we were like, yeah, like, clearly, uh, M Megami, right? It's it's weird. He's almost like a conventional vessel, right? It's like, yeah, dude, you, you're the one in a million. Yuji would be like a one in a billion, right? There's a difference between being a vessel and being just a straight-up cage, and I think that's, like, the main difference between them, and that's, like, the, the kind of separation that Gege was, like, trying to portray. I don't know. I, I, I guess I just don't see a vessel like having any pushback at all. Like I don't see a vessel being able to resist anything. But I guess like it's something it could we'll be because like I said, right? That's why I say like Angel's interference could be a huge factor. Because like, dude, you mm -hmm. saw what happened when Sukuna went through Jacob's ladder. Like mm -hmm. he was still smoking after. Yeah. Uh, true, true. Also, Dex, thank um, you for the five. Legend. Uh, oh, shit, yeah, we, we missed it. Yeah. Yuji's final breaking point will be Sukuna eating Gojo and Megami's butt. Dude, is, <laughs> is Yuji not at his breaking point? <laughs> like... Yuji's, Yuji's been at his breaking point like four separate times. Yeah, dude. Um, Yuji has no no more points to break. Like, he's he's this is it. <laughs> uh, Rum Legend, thank you for the 10. Assuming Megami is conscious on some level, he would already know what's going on inside. No. I think in Shibuya, he probably didn't switch back on purpose. I think he just... Yeah, he... I mean, the reason he switched back there is to antagonize Yuji, and he had no other option. Yeah, because I think Yuji right. was, like, waking up, quote-unquote. Yeah. Yeah. He shows, he shows his hand is shaking, and he's like, yeah. well, time to terrorize him. Yeah, he's like, I, I got a few minutes. I got to make this count. Which is why, by the way, I say going after Yorozu, great way to like bring that back full circle gege could even rip off the panels like almost bar for bar and just like redraw it with like megami and his sister oh my god dude i'm cooking here I i'm calling this yeah. this is another yeah, this is another shit. certified it's a, it's a microwavable, theory it's a microwavable meal not happening damn crazy mm -hmm. i who, who said that who brought up the microwave thing i gotta look in the the previous super chats you y'all uh, you all in the royalty dude <laughs> Yeah, no, this is a uh, fair use. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, no. I'm curious yeah. what your what your uh, theories are. I gave you my three. I'm curious if you have any. Like, what are your options? I guess for next chapter. Yeah. Uh, Nobara return. I still don't feel like that's. I don't know. Maybe it's because it's been so long. It does doesn't feel like like it can happen yet. I don't know. It's fucking weird. Um, my thought is we get some like uh, demonstration of internal struggle with Megami and Sukuna. I feel like that's what oh, the like last the pages were alluding thing? to. Yeah, something like that, or like Sukuna like acknowledge like more acknowledgement, kind of like okay, how chapter two thirteen started. I think it's chapter two thirteen where we see Sukuna sitting inside like thinking about shit in the past. Like if we see Megami trying to like widen or like lower Sukuna's like just general ceiling of power or whatever. Um, and I can imagine that taking up the first four or five, six pages of the chapter. And then for the la the latter half, we see Yuji and Sukuna continue, maybe with an ally coming at the end of the chapter. That's how I can see it. Like, you know, we get an ally still, um, but it's sort of later. Um, and that's kind of what I'm foreseeing. Um, but yeah, that's just my guess. Also, Rome, uh, Rome Legend, just thank you for the vibe. Five, yeah. Appreciate you, man. Um, yeah. Yeah, so you were saying Nobara is your first pick? 
Nobara coming back is not necessarily my first pick. I I think is I it... think it's going to happen soon enough. Um, but it it feels like Nobara being back in the manga feels surreal. Um, like bless you. Um, because it, it feels it's, it's been like such strange. a yeah. It feels like it's just a meme at this point. It's like Gojo getting out of that box. It almost feels like yeah. Like, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot yeah. that he was a character in this series, dude. Because, like, we've had more yeah. JJK without Gojo and Nobra. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, my God. We've had more JJK without Gojo and Nobra than we've had yeah. with them. That's crazy. Yeah. When did we Good pass job. that threshold? Uh, about, let's see, chapter... Well, for Gojo, it was, like, chapter fucking... Uh, I can't do math. You asked you, you asked me to do math on stream. Something? That's crazy. I don't you remember well, all the JJK chapters? Gojo, Gojo was eliminated from the chapter. Oh, oh, you were asking me when like okay, I thought you were asking me to do like fucking math. Gojo got eliminated in chapter ninety one. That's basically where we can count him out of the manga. Oh yeah. And as for Nobar, it's one twenty six. Oh, okay, so Nobar is not quite that long, but yeah, Gojo's it's it's just been longer. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you... um, and hell, and hell, uh, dear God, if you were to discount the amount of chapters Nobara was in, we would have surpassed that threshold a while ago. Yeah. Um, man, that's... Fuck, man. Yeah. Uh, dude, a uh, UG Black Flash at this point would be insane. It really that would. would. I can't wait for. Mm -hmm. Dude, if Sukuna catches it with bare hands, I know. I... Oh, that'd be so raw. Dude, listen, I've told you this. Listen, nah, you got me started, bro. Listen, one of the things I need to see is a goddamn Black Flash clash. Bro, yes. please dig it. Dig it. I know you could cook, bro. I know you could cook. Listen, you know how raw it would be to see two people fucking a simultaneous black flash against each other? Jesus. Not Jesus. Dude, Gage, That's Gage, insane. I I'm pretty sure Gage will have ascend will have ascended at that point, dude. <laughs> you know, it's it, yeah. I'm almost like worried to get my hopes up. <laughs> Cuz <'Cause laughs> This is one of those chapters, I think, recently was probably when uh, Sukuna first took over Megami's body, where I was like, I do not know where this is going. I simply, yeah, yeah I, I could not have foreseen this. And I think the conclusion, uh, or conclusion, I'm, I'm already I'm already talking like next chapter is going to be the conclusion. <laughs> yeah. Like, whatever happens next in this phase of the story, right? Mm-hmm. I, what, how are we moving past this? How are no we idea. moving past Sukuna being in control of Megami's body, dude? Because he's just out and about, no limitation, nobody suppressing him. Like, Sukuna has now fully revived, like, back into, like, the real world. Hmm. And I think, yeah. like, Yuji holding him at bay. Oh, my God, that's so scary to think about. Yeah, Yuji's, like, the last line of defense before Sukuna's just, hmm. like, fully ru running rampant. Or you could say the borders of the Cullen games, or the fact that Japan is just in, in shambles. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. It makes you think if uh, Kenjaku just did this whole thing in anticipation, but no, that's that's yeah. a, that's a crazy amount of planning. I doubt it. Gege Pen, Gege's Pen gets stronger with every Black Flash. Jesus, he's leveling up with each one, too. Yeah. Also, Dex said something really interesting. It's a funny take. I gotta disagree. Bro mm -hmm. said, I would rather Yuki back in JJK than Nobara. Keep Yuki. <laughs> Out, bro. Yuki is cut uh, in half. Dude, she was crushed under her. Listen, bro. Listen. It's, it's not even about the likelihood. It's about like, dude. I mean, like, I get it from a power perspective. Yeah, Yuki is more useful than when we last saw Nobara. Dude, I don't give a fuck about Yuki as yeah. a character, bro. I literally don't. Like, who, Yuki, who, I, I, I don't know. Yuki was uh, Gege's second ever fumble slash miss. Me will be listen. If listen, I I promise you this. I swear this. I if we get a Miwa POV oh chapter next chapter, <sighs> I swear you guys will be getting the same type of video I made on UG this week. Unhinged. Like I and that that's a promise. Like that's that is a that is a fucking promise. That's a hundred percent happening. I am yeah. pretty yeah, I'm pretty sure uh, uh Liv is gonna get like held at gunpoint to make a Miwa thumbnail. Like I don't think I'm gonna have a choice. Mm. Uh, you, no, you don't get it. No, if Miwa shows up in, in the chapter, she's the focus of the thumbnail, and you're gonna hold that. Um, that that it, sometimes you gotta make sacrifices, and that will be one of the sacrifices you have to make. Uh, simply put, um, I don't I don't necessarily know if I think it's likely, but that's something I would be excited to see. A Miwa chapter would be would go crazy. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so you were saying uh, second possibility after No Bro. Uh, we see the chapter like mainly focuses on the internal struggle. Um. Where, oh, like, Megami oh, and, Su and Sukuna, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, B. Nicholas, thank you for the two. Y'all think uh, Sukuna gonna get his bath soon? Bro, I hope. I. Bro, stinky. I'm sorry. Yeah. Honestly, oh, a fourth, uh, a fifth thing. 
man, if Kenjaku ever wanted to come back, dude, and, like, you know, steal the show back from Sukuna, unlikely as that may seem, now's the time to do it. Bro, listen, I don't know. Listen, bro. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. If you wanted to Kenjaku come in. and Sukuna on screen at the same time, I think, I don't know, bro. I'm, yeah. I'm, I might lose hope again. Because, like, listen, this chapter has given me hope in a, in a hopeless situation. But, like, if Kenjaku shows up it's to over. me, like, Sukuna, you need a hand? <laughs> like, huh? I'm sorry? What? All right. <laughs> uh, so, third option. Keep going, keep going. Mm-hmm. I, I want to hear you cook. A third option, bro. I don't got a third option. What the hell? Damn, that's crazy. I got, I got, I got one and two. I dropped listen, bro. five bangers, and you can't even give me six? Listen, bro. When you go 0 for 5, that's going to be great. Listen, that's <laughs> cool. That's cool. Um, <laughs> but, listen, I've told you. I'm not a theorizer. I'm an analyzer, all right? Bars, 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 bars. I simply understand what's put in front of me, and Look, you, uh, no, you're no, you out here trying to be a dude, fucking prophet. Dude, I love Gaia like a brother, all right? I know oh, his gosh. heart. I know his soul. I know I know everything about him, all right? He'd never, mm-hmm. he'd never do this to me, right? I, we're on the same mm-hmm. wavelength. Me and him are about relative writing-wise. I'm slightly mm-hmm. better, but, like, you know, he'll get there one day. I'm going to make a compilation <laughs> of you being wrong about shit. Remember when you thought Chapter 200 was going to be this, like, massive chapter? Do you remember that? Chat, Look. do you guys remember that? And then and then when Chapter 200 came around, he, he, that shit was not it for him. A- 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 anybody else remember that? Anybody no, else no, remember no, that nobody fact? remembers that. Also, that, he can, that he conveniently forgot. Thank you for the two. So you can bathing chapter is kind of crazy to ask for. Spit, dude. Spit. <laughs> Oh, also, uh, I wanted to say uh, one small, tiny thing mm-hmm. that I completely forgot. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. I just had it, yeah. and I lost it in a second. Where the hell did, yeah, yeah. did Cream's little bro gay gay? I mean, I no. did say like a brother. I, I, I'll say this. Uh, Cream said like two weeks ago that Giggy was washed and couldn't write. That I don't is want not, I, that. First of all, that was four weeks ago. So, oh God. so yeah, so chat, whenever you think about Creams being accurate, whenever you think about Creams being right in regards to JJK, I just want you to remember the fact that bro was like, I don't know if Gigi got it anymore, bro. Gigi kind of washed. Gigi pen game kind of weak. That take is away not, paper, that is not what game. I said. You fucking... Listen, bro, I'm saying that's a sentiment. I'm saying that's a sentiment. You were doubting him. Oh, and I remember. I said, he's going to come out with a banger. And you were like, I don't know, man. Yeah, when I said uh, Yuki was Gigi's second uh, biggest mistake, I'm, I'm curious. Nobody asked what the first one was. What is the first one? Yaga. Like, what? <laughs> no, Yuki's a bigger mistake than that to me. Really? Yuki, Yuki because, like, Yaga, I'll, I'll say this, like, Yaga's chapter alone is just, like, worse than any of the Yuki chapters. Like, don't get me wrong. Let me not right? let me not get it twisted. But Yuki is more disappointing um, because I felt like I expected. I, felt, I don't know, man. I feel like when she showed up and she, excuse me, she was the main one, like, kind of, like, ideologically opposing Kenjaku. I felt like she was supposed to, like, I felt like she was going to be kind of the, along with Utah, I guess, like an impromptu, like, figurehead of, of the good guys. You know what I mean? Like, yo, this is, this is the person who, like, heard what Kenjaku was saying and, like, actually had words to, to fucking say back. You know what I mean? Like, and this also could have been a continuation of her thing with Ghetto, right? As she fucking mentions. I was talking to Ghetto, whatever. Like, I, I don't know, man. Um, I feel like Yuki damn bro i yuki was just more disappointing like yaga chapter straight ash cheeks bad <laughs> right low quality don't get me wrong but the the fucking disappointment on my face when i saw yuki was like i was like okay that mini Uzumaki, she's probably gonna heal from it whatever whatever no she just died <laughs> like she just fell apart i mean granted she did die like in the end via her own technique but I mean, still. Potato, potato. Yeah. Bro. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm splitting and, hairs. And, and, yeah, that in that technique, Kenjaku said, whew, <laughs> I, I'm impressed. I but I don't, so there's just something about Yaga's chapter that just, it was so sudden. It, it just, it just, it just came out of nowhere. Like, like I understand. I'm, I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at the take. Like, I, I get it. It's just for me, I, maybe, I, I don't know, man. I, I feel like I'm being, like, as I, as I keep thinking about it, I'm like, maybe I was wrong. But I'm like, no, I'm going to stand firm on that. Gege, there is no way I was supposed to not expect something from Yuki. Like, I, I I, can't be called crazy for that. She's a special grade. She was ideologically opposing fucking Kenjaku. She was like, shit, she, she went all the way back to, like, the, the hidden inventory flashback in terms of, like, her connections to Gojo and Geto. Shit, she's Toto's teacher. Like, there's so many connections, bro. That, like, what? What? what, what I, I don't know, man. I, I just, I just fucking... I just, 
I read that and I was like, God, damn I know. it. It, like like both both were misses, you know. <laughs> yeah, both were misses. Both were misses. Uh, Orbital post. Thank you for the two pounds. Now we start the roast creams. Why did I read that? Why was I the one that had to read that? That's not fair. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you could ask me to read it, but yeah. I mean, now we start to yeah. All right. Oh, uh, let's see. Shaq, thank you for the five dollars. Beer, you don't see the vision. Yuki POV next chapter, hopping out of a black hole and freeing Gojo. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't. I don't think I want to see that. Like I. I think. I think I'm. I'm. Well, I don't know. I just can't think of a like if if Gage was actually gonna like be serious with writing Yuki, um, <laughs> like, like bro, challenge. like take 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 it serious. Like, all right, bro, listen, I get it. You don't like women. Like, can we can we can we can we get can we get real? Um, if he was gonna do that, yeah, maybe. But I I also feel like, dude, how the fuck do you? She was split in half, like in two, and then like, she consumed was in two pieces, by her own black, hole. and then yeah. consumed by a literal black hole. How the how the hell like listen with Nobara she got tapped by Ido Transfiguration right like at best Something it's we've an seen eye patch. people survive yeah yeah we've seen people survive she was already touching on the core of curse energy the same way Gojo mentioned before he learned RCT right she was literally on the spot confirmed not necessarily dead like she had the potential to survive right but with Yuki split in half and in a black hole Giga get real like if you Giga get real like I just <laughs> like. Listen, I would have preferred if she was an actual complete character, but I feel like that ship has sailed. That's cool. Whatever. Let's just let's just bring back the real characters, if I may. It's like it's not what I would have done personally, right? Yeah. Maybe I would have made her a character, but that's just me. Clearly you had a different plan. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um All I will say though. Uh, 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 uh just kind of reflecting on Yuki. She um she showed up and did nothing like just 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 he waffled bro she literally did nothing like it it's actually insane when you think about like <laughs> like dude she was talking so heavy he, potentially huge impact on the story the ideologies blah 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 nothing like yeah I, i'm gonna what did what she say when she came in there what did she say when she came in there well hold on hold on i want to my type is a hard-working muddy guy you though i'll have to beat you up until you're the same <laughs> dear god dude oh my she she landed one punch i'm sick i just I, <laughs> I'm, I'm so disgusted bro if next chapter is like a yuki flashback that was like a secret panel where she used like mm -hmm. black hole to suck out the, the the back room or whatever the the back wow. entrance to to the <laughs> prison realm i'm gonna lose my mind well I, choso has it already like i don't know how that happened but choso has it he has the back of the prison room i bro just 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 wake up angel just slap her, just be like, Angel, just before you go, right? <laughs> Can you, like, 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 let's let's just put a stop to this. Yeah. Donkey Bro, Dubs, thank I... you for the two. What if Yugi, what if Yuki ate a finger in his... Yuji. Yuji, oh my god, dude. What if Yuji ate a finger in his current state? Nothing would happen, Nothing, I feel like. Yeah. Maybe, uh, yeah, maybe a cursed energy amp, I don't know, maybe, yeah. but... I mean, he's not, he's not, like, Sukuna's not taking over. Yeah. That's I mean, shit happening. Uh, Sukuna's gonna have to deal with, like, being a finger shy, I guess. Like, he just, <laughs> he's just letting that one go. But, you know, he makes up yeah. for it. I think Megumi's about a, sing a Sukuna finger or two worths, right? <laughs> you know, in the end, right, if he did put all 15 finger power into Megumi and just completely removed himself from Yuji, uh, I'd say Yuji, uh, Megumi's own innate powers make up for, like, the five finger difference, don't you? Uh, five finger difference. Uh, oh, between like twenty finger and fifteen yeah. finger, dude. I have no idea. I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I mean, we saw a new way. Like, I, I okay, at least two fingers, at least. Like, I, I mean, in terms of like, I don't. Know. I think the technique is more probably more versatile, unless the fingers give them extra and, but, ability. But it's but, like juiced up mm -hmm. by Sukuna, so that's why I say it's like probably yeah. worth more. Yeah. Um. Also, Sukuna gets Roman the ability to travel in the shadows. Sorry, just had to throw it. Yeah. Mm, yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty cool. Thank you for the five. How do you think it would have went down if Yuta stayed behind with Yuki? There, uh, Yuta <laughs> and Yuki versus Kenjaku. That motherfucker is dying. dying. He, he's he's getting killed. However, that's not necessarily good because that would mean Choso would have went and fucking uh, Sendai and he would have died. So, bro, you know, um, sorry, I I just realized something, right? Mm -hmm. Kenjaku showed up solo, and I remember we you and I were discussing. Uh, Damn, that's so raw that Kenjaku just like I, I thought he showed up with an army, you know, Urmei's like backing him up, but but no, he just rolled up by himself. Mm -hmm. He knew, Kenjaku knew yeah. Yuki he was knew. just 
He knew. He knew she was. The bro did not know. Listen, what's crazy is he didn't know her technique, right? He did. He's like, yeah, it doesn't matter. It literally. <laughs> you're not. You're not. You're not. You're not that strong. Yeah, it's like, like it's like uh, you know what you, you know you, if your name is secretly Gojo. Is, is it? Wait, no, no. Oh, then then no, I got this. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. yeah. It's like, dude, listen, I'll, I'll say this. Maybe people disagree because people think, like, Kenjaki's fucking, like, one-shotting Yuta for some reason. But I'm going to say this. Yuta and you, Because here's the thing. Yuki negates any curse spirit manipulation being a problem, right? right? And then Yuta just fucking has... He has so much, like, dude, a curse... Spe uh, imagine literally. a curse speech into Garuda combo. What the fuck? Dude, listen. <laughs> Don't move. Boom. Even, Last hole in his chest. Even oh, if huh? it was just Yuta, right? If Yuta was there... Mm -hmm. He can go bar for bar for Kenjaku at every turn. If if we're talking like the variety of special grades, dude, they are <laughs> they're they're having yeah. a slug fest. Dude, Kenjaku better pray that that uh uh Yuta never gets in close. <laughs> I need I need an awakening from Yuta too. Like I need I need I need I need like I need these motherfuckers because I feel like Kenjaku still has the advantage when you look at his like domain or whatever. Mm -hmm. True, so I need yeah. I need I need that. I need that edge because that, that's why I feel like Yuki and Yuta could have put down Kenjaku pretty soundly because Tengen could have dismantled it, right? They both can heal. And then you, it's like, okay, cool. Curse spirits are not a problem. He used his domain already. He probably can't use it again. Jump the fuck out of him. For real. Right dude, now. Dude, classic JJK. Yeah, yeah, two on one. Mm -hmm. But you know what's going to be even funnier? Um, Just, just as, like, as, a, as a passive thought, mm -hmm. I was thinking, like, we, did we ever get to see like Kenjaku's strongest curse? Like, did, did he ever explicitly say, "Oh, yeah, this is the strongest curse that I have"? As like, uh, that I manipulate or something like that? No, he just he brings out a special grade, and he kind of like the implication, and not necessarily that it's his strongest, but the impl he brings it out, and he's like, "Keep your distance, thank you." Like, he kind of he kind of implies that he thinks it's enough to to because he amps it, yeah, these movements. Yeah, and it also is like apparently it had some like crazy technique or whatever. So mm. like, doesn't necessarily have to be as strong as we don't know, but the Kenjaku does definitely hint at that like if her technique was not such a hard counter, it would have held her at bay. I think is is what mm. he thinks. You know, I was I was thinking right. You said you wanted Yuta to have an awakening. Is he not strong enough to you? <laughs> <laughs> or you, like, I, I know what you want. I want. I, I know what you want. You want him to go up to Kenjaku and be like, you know what, fuck fuck this 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 nice guy stuff <laughs> i want to live selfishly listen listen white bro, flash just, <laughs> jesus yeah you would think white flash is like Stop. the pinnacle of ability in jjk <laughs> no chat can we talk bro, about how i got one day trying, left. bro bro what one day what no, nah, keep going. You were saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. want to cut you off. Bro yet. immediately thought about like the pinnacle of sorcery and said, "That's gotta be white. That's insane. <laughs> that's crazy. That's that's wild. That that is insane. No, I'm not gonna lie. It's just I I just think uh, Yuta's like so so dog shit. He could he could never hit a black flash. He did. We saw him do it. You ever seen Volume Zero? Are you a fake fan? Yeah. Have you never seen a fraud before? Do I have to remind you to look in the mirror? Aren't you the guy that gave Chainsaw Man six? <laughs> Yeah, bro. bro. I said no more Mr. Nice Guy. Not <laughs> he even has a black flash on record. Yeah, bro. Call... Saying he's up too much of a bum to not hit a black flash when we saw him hit a black flash in the Volume Zero movie is crazy. Kind of insane. Kind of wild. Um, he said he thought it was March. Yeah, Cream's, Cream's, Cream's looking forward to March too. Bro doesn't know we're getting actually an extended Black History Month this year. He didn't. He didn't read the memo. Anyways, um, Cream's in his creams in his jim crow arc insane insane why yeah. why uh, yeah that's uh that's wild that's wild that's wild of you to say but also you're not wrong anyways um bro deflected anywho, the, anywho, anywho. the uh, chainsaw man allegations yet again that was artistry right there yeah bro i mean it's it's gonna be hard to for anybody to to really care when you're uh a literal yeah. known racist. You know what? Sorry. If anybody wants to know about uh, BR's Chainsaw Man or a Twitter arc, which is funny, by the way, like like jokes aside, mm -hmm. it is hilarious what happened. Uh, uh -huh. Just check out last episode. <laughs> yeah, give you the whole recap over there. Yeah, oh, uh, Dex, March is for... Women's History Month, so good luck. Oh, you're cooked. Uh, I fell to my knees in the... Walmart. What? Uh, Dex, thank you for the five. <laughs> Yuta Theory. You know how Yuta can copy curse techniques? What if Yuta's domain expansion is to copy an opponent's domain? That would go crazy. That would that go would so go hard, crazy. That would, that would be hard.
Yeah. I said, yeah, that's nice. This is my domain. It's like, we're going to, and, and he probably, the thing is, right, if the refinement and shit is the same, like, they're probably just going to clash in terms of energy. And yeah. I don't know if you want to clash and you did in terms of, like, pure Ooh. Chris energy. Did, you can't sense. copy yeah. a domain. Why? Yeah. Like, why not? Like, what else would a copy domain be? You could be like, uh, you can say it's of every technique he's ever, you know, consumed, manifested. Which is, but like, chess is broken. I'm yeah. not going to lie to you. Like, that like, shit is not much better. Like, but, like, I'm, I'm curious, Lamillion, like, maybe you remember something I don't like. When I say why, I'm like, why, what in the power system eliminates that from possibility? You know what I mean? Yeah, like, because Yuta just has to have a broken uh, domain, you know? Mm-hmm. Also, Green. Lando, that is crazy. What about Mentis three months? Stop. Yeah, I mean. Um, uh, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just thinking, right? I, I, I've been meaning to say this and I can't believe we didn't even talk about it this entire stream. Dude, last episode was five hours. Last episode was five hours. That's we, right. we did not plan that, right? Mm -mm. This happened. I have approached time stamping that thing. I need time. I, I unironically i i need time to timestamp five and 12 five hours and 12 minutes of content all right great episode we got we got guests it was awesome you guys are great <sighs> you uh you don't realize how how uh like that you've cursed us in a way a five mm -hmm. hour episode so close to 50 <laughs> yeah yeah we set the expectation too high um it was too casual like like we just slipped into it i just kind of happened uh but you know thank you guys i mean no but for real thank you br isn't grateful though. um yeah <laughs> anyways don't agree um, with me if i say no i am grateful thank you guys yeah clearly i'm grateful i'm actually showing up here um <laughs> creams is obviously like listen in spite of me hating this guy um and him being a like a raging racist I, i'm I still show up here for you guys so clearly that means i'm grateful and obviously you know i'm the real one um, um creams actually hates you guys he said uh caliber x4 thank you for the five no i don't a panel that would go really hard is yuji and megumi giving sukuna the jjk tm both the ins <laughs> <sighs> The double we, whammy? No, bro. A simultaneous black flash in an inmate domain and in reality would go hard. But I'll, I'm I'm so sorry. I I I just I wasn't ready for both the inside and outside because like I I don't think I was ready for that. Yeah, no, I I I was sitting here minding we'll, we'll my own business. Your mind. We'll pop, we'll pop into your mind dreams. Heroic stuff. You wouldn't understand. Heroic stuff. Interesting. 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 In any case, um, yeah. I, Listen, I'll say this. I've been I've been advocating for Megami hitting a black flash, so if he does, I'll be happy. Um Yeah. You love to see it. You love to see you love to see it. Cream Psycho um, joke uh comboing Miguel and sit Why? Is it me? Am I the problem? Like Yes, like, yes, literally dude. you are. You are. <laughs> Bro's asking, are you the pro Yes, you are. You're Sorry the problem. Sorry to say, but I've got to uh, get up for work in four hours. So I'm gonna have to dipsy all around. Don't let creams keep. <laughs> see you, Orbital Post. We'll hey. see. We'll see you next week. <laughs> Thank you, Orbital Poet. I definitely won't let him get away with it. You I said got it, post. Man. I'm sorry, or Orbital Poet. My bad. Also, um, dude, I, Landa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, um, Creams and BR should react to the. I'm not reacting to the Boondocks with this. Dude, I love <laughs> the Boondocks. On I rock. Yeah, no, you like, don't, dude. It would not go. You know well what? You me. know what? Yeah, yeah. You know what? I bet. I bet you do love certain aspects of the Boondocks. Dude, I love the Boondocks, dude. Uh, if I you could love not... when the teacher, you love when the teacher said the N word over and over. Is that the? Fa is that what your, dude, that that your favorite part? Hold on, that episode was unironically hilarious. Gangster Licious oh, coming out, dude. Hold on, that episode was great. But obviously, what I think takes the cake is huey uh the movie theater episode with huey and uncle ruckus and uh what's his name the the ninja guy that uh stink meaners like hater friends killed mm -hmm. i'm not talking boondocks with this guy chat that I, is i, I know it. the fucking Dog. i won't do it it's not happening not with him cream's Anybody love uncle Ru i unironically no no i you guys know the new the take is nuance i'm not falling into this trap He's a good character, damn it. And that's just... 
Why are you? I said he's relatable. Stop. <laughs> stop. I did not say that. I did not fucking right. say that. Oh no! It was the uh, my favorite episode is the Uncle Ruckus episode where he 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 meets up with like that that musician. Oh, it, it was the Uncle Ruckus episode. Surprise, yeah, dude, surprise. with with him like doing that documentary, dude, that shit was so fucking funny. I, I think it is unironically like an S plus tier uh, episode. The uh, Uncle Ruckus. I <laughs> stop, stop, <laughs> stop. Dreams like in Boondocks. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, bro, why are you so excited? Like, because because Boondocks excited. is great, dude. What's You're, not to love? No, yeah, no, no, no. It is great, but you thinking it's great is a problem, dude. Need you to tone it down. The best Boondocks character. Nope, not gonna make that joke. Bro said I'm one of you. Yeah, no, you're not. Um, the racist musician. Yeah, bro said. Bro said racism. That's hard. I'm sick. Actually, you know, you know, uh. Man, I wish I could rank like the the funniest Boondocks characters. I'm gonna just. I be... bet you do wish okay. you could rank black people right. for stream. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. Not getting this, this this tier listing from from you guys again. All right, gents. Unless I'm before later. Thank you, Calvary <laughs> Thank Thanks, you, Calvary X4. I appreciate it a lot. Uh. <laughs> Luke, can can you, can you sing that song for me? I forgot the lyrics. <laughs> Listen, chat, you're just going to get a plethora of clips with these next few sentences that Creams is about to say, so just get ready. Creams love Boondocks, ahead, but, won't, but still won't see Black Panther, because Boondocks is objectively better. Bro hasn't watched it. Bro just hates any black media. I literally... Making... Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. God. First of all, you're a fraud. Second of all, I know why you like Uncle Ruckus. <laughs> we all know why you I like Uncle Ruckus. I, he's not even my favorite character. Oh, wow. Good job. I, I almost wish he was my favorite character. Bro, Huey's my favorite. Oh, uh, uh, Huey's my on, favorite. Chat. Please get him saying that he wishes Uncle Ruckus was his favorite character. Actually, you know, somebody, bro, please get I'll bro said I, wish I will text you. Just, me. just tell me if this passes the check. This is my favorite character. Bro, I'm not. Bro, I promise you. It, no, yes. No, bro. But say it on stream. No, no way. <laughs> but say it on stream. Go Dude, ahead. he's just so stupid. He's so fucking stupid. Like, like, what's not to love about him? Uh <sighs> Just say it on stream, bro. Say it. say it on stream. <laughs> Creams, I promise you we don't need you to rank your favorite black people. That's kind of what I'm saying. Thank, thank you, you Legend. Thank you for the five, and thank you for spitting. Um, Creams refused to watch The yeah. Proud Family. <sighs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, you're a sick guy. You're a sick guy, man. Um, I'm hoping you get the help you need and I refuse. not really deserve stop saying it's bro oh my god okay race to your list <laughs> nobody race to your list for us. ask oh. creams about oh dude uh, don't make me i'm not gonna i'm not gonna cape for falcon and winter soldier on stream that's that's too much listen now i don't really hate the guy but i just don't think uh <laughs> the mantle should have been blasted off to uh that's not mike we'll nope, say nope, uh, not giving we'll, you guys say, that we'll say somebody that's not quite as american that's what you would say damn the accent wasn't too far off huh you had a lot of practice yeah. to you just like you for real no me dude i've never even seen a real a real southerner uh you were gonna i thought you were gonna say something completely different <laughs> um uh yeah I said, nom? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, You're not rocking with Mark because Mark is rocking with us. Yeah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm. Damn, dude. But yes, Boondocks uh, is fucking great. Slaps. Love, love Boondocks. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, anyway. Right. Uh, thanks, guys, for coming out. We will see you <laughs> next week and for episode 50, which, by the way, if you guys, you know, tuning in for the first time subscribe episode 50 is going to be a banger we are going to try to have guests on <laughs> yeah, it's going to be fun we're going to actually do like different yeah. events and stuff like we're going to like we're going to like show you guys on screen like getting, yeah. getting real wild and wacky so yeah, you know, it, it for that. bro inshallah they're, they are free mm. Mm. yeah <laughs> Cream walked out the yep. theater when peter died what the fuck all right uh thanks guys for coming out Later. Thank you, Angel of Access, for that con for that comment. Later, guys. Cream hates Miles Morales. <laughs> All right. See you. Like.